Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our Saturday stream, and we are back with RimWorld, baby. I'm excited about this one. Let's get the main screen turned on. Hey everybody! Hope everyone's having a great day. I'm very excited for today. I think it's a fun day. Cool things happening. Um, it's a good day. Just saying. Oh, thank you, Diviner! Or Deniver! Oh, I didn't even realize people would remember or know that it was my birthday today. You know, I don't normally make a big deal out of it. <laughs> uh, I had a lovely night last night. We did we did the uh, the birthday dinner last night because we knew we'd be busy today with all the streams and everything like that. Um, ordered way too much sushi. It was wonderful. Uh, got a bunch of hot sauces, new hoodies, uh, one of those... Um, Yonana, like little frozen dessert things. Um, uh, what? A, oh, a little board game, well, card game. Uh, Friday, it was great. It was really lovely. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, you sent me a happy birthday video, Bunisher. Oh, was that on Discord? I'll have to go and check afterwards, or maybe Twitter. I'll, I'll take a look after this. <laughs> Way too much sushi doesn't even. The problem with sushi. Or really, I suppose perhaps anything with some rice in it is if you go overboard and you eat until you're full, and then about 20 minutes later, you're way too full as everything just sort of keeps expanding in your stomach. Um, all of us, well, mostly Ascension and I, we're just like just dead on the couch afterwards, just feeling uncomfortable um, from things. But it was it was very tasty. Uh, I'm going to take this off, though, because that was my one and a half minutes allocated birthday celebration uh, from company policy. And uh, now we're going to have to get back to work here in a second. But maybe I'll keep the background up. Um, should, I should try to make it a little smaller or something. Maybe we'll do something like that. There we go. So it doesn't get too much in front of the scene. Just a little something something every now and again as a bit of a tease. Back to corporate oppression. Exactly, Zix Zixki. Zixski. Close enough, right? I don't know why I have a hard time with that. There's certain there's certain words that are just difficult. I have a hard time saying uh, one thousandth. It just trips up my tongue. I don't know why. I'm good with most like um, 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 tongue twisters and things, but I don't know. It's, maybe it's too many th sounds. Sort of screw me up. <laughs> oh, how are you doing this fine, Valborg? I don't know what that is. Uh, words with Zs and Ys are the best. Um, I like uh, syzygy. Syzygy is always one of my favorite words. Um, now, like more people knew about it, like because it's come up in more places. But I remember when I first heard about it when I was uh, a young teen, and I thought it was awesome. Really cool word. Three Y, six letter word with three Ys. What the heck, man? It's whiskey and chocolate. Hey, Halco, thank you very much. Actually, okay, stream lab refreshing. Uh, Wimey, uh, six minutes ago, just before the stream started, sent in a contribution to the whiskey and chocolate fund. So thank you very much for that. Wimey, Wimey says. Today I was bored and started watching my Steam library for games I could play. There I saw that at some point I bought Civ 5 and never really and really never played it. So I loaded up the game and started a game of Sweden and felt bad for stopping. Now I have to buy Civ 6. Um, why be at first? I didn't realize you didn't really have the Civs. What's funny is all week this week I've been playing Civ 4, and I cannot wait um, until the Civ 6 Cree campaign is done. Because I want to start a, a Let's Play of Civ 4. I I had convinced myself that Civ 6, see, Civ 5 was always kind of a, um, I don't know, problematic middle child, right? They tried some things with Civ 5, and it was good, <clears throat> but it was always a little rough around the edges. And then 6 is like 5 perfected. Civ 6 is a very good game. And I'd convinced myself at this point that Civ 6 was like really strong and maybe, you know, the best Civ. Uh, and then I started replaying Civ 4 again, and I realized, oh, no, no, Civ 4 is the best sieve there ever was. It is just wonderful, just exquisite. The mechanics, the balance, just really great. Yeah, Civ 4 had stacking, which which I like quite a bit because um, 
To me, Civ 4 is a little closer. So you can sort of imagine sort of an axis between sort of like 4X and grand strategy. There's obviously like an overlap, you know, but it's, it's sort of a sliding axis between different kind of extremes, right? Where like, even like Stellaris sort of arguably maybe sits in the middle. Um, but part of partially like the 4X would be exploration, which some of the grand strategy, like uh, Crusader Kings doesn't have an exploration aspect. EU4 has some in the new world, but not the same and with some map trading, but generally speaking, not because you know what the map is going to look like, right? So arguably those have the missing 4X, but there's, there's sort of an innate kind of gameplay mechanical difference between those. And to me, um, Civ 4 has a little bit more kind of almost grand strategy-ish elements because it's, a, or maybe it's more of a little bit of a more of a macro level, right? You're not kind of playing chess with individual units like the one unit per tile. Instead, it's about composing large stacks of armies with the appropriate composition, the right balance of siege, defensive units, anti-melee, anti-cavalry, and sort of these, these organized coordinated armies that you're kind of moving around. Um, which appeals to me as someone who like likes more of the, the builder sort of macro aspect. I forgot how much I missed about that. But the potentially the most important thing about Civ 4 is because it doesn't have one unit per tile, the AI isn't idiotic. I maintain that but I have no right to be beating civilization on deity difficulty. I'm not that good. And yet I routinely spank the computer on deity, right? I win on deity much more than I lose, and I don't think I should be allowed to. And I think it comes down to the fact that the AI is very bad at one unit per tile type movement. And so you can abuse it through, you know, just a little bit of clever positioning um, and that sort of thing. But that's not the case in something with stacks units where the movement across the map is much, much, much simpler, right? It's, it's less, it's less complex. And so then it's, it's very, very different vibe and it makes it much more of a challenge. I never beat a foreign deity. I used to play on like just one short of deity, I think was immortal difficulty, um, which was very challenging, but I don't think I ever beat it on deity proper. And I think, you know, that says a lot about Civ 4. We got lots of whiskey and chocolate come in. Let's go ahead and read a few more of those. Um, feel like this middle ground to be found, limited army sizes on one tile. Maybe, I mean, maybe with more support units. I feel like five had more support units than six, but maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. You force easy to bait, even ridiculously large. Well, and I mean, maybe you know, there's something to be said about, you know, movement and AI in, in EU4, but. It's whiskey and chocolate. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Halko Mahuli came in next to the whiskey and chocolate fund. I guess I'm getting a lot of birthday gifts. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, he says, happy birthday, Quill. Now back to the salt mine. Well, I don't think we found any salt, but we do need to mine some more iron. We'll be getting to this very, very soon. Kerbal King. That's a good name. Happy birthday. What better way than a RimWorld steam stream and too much sushi. Many happy returns. Thank you very much, Kerbal King. Name Moose as well came in. Hey, Name Moose says, happy birthday. Moose always enjoy birthdays, even though we use a different calendar. Bigger antlers are worth celebrating. I do get, I need to get my, uh, my hair antlers cut soon. It's getting a little long. It's not so bad in the winter, but come summer, just the, the back of my head gets too hot. I like it, having it short there. So hopefully I'll get a, ha a haircut relatively soon. Quiet Tony, thank you very much as well. Happy birthday, Quill. If you do a Civ 4 Let's Play, it's going to be somewhat bittersweet considering who does the tech narrations. To cut them out, it'll be even more sad. Yes, Leonard Nimoy uh, did the tech pop-up narrations in Civ 4 and it was wonderful. The best line is still when you discover satellites and Leonard is, is reading out a quote from Sputnik that just goes beep. Beep, beep. Bungo Fluffernutter, thank you very much as well. It says, just drop by to say hi and make an offering. Thank you very much, Bongo. Cool Man Nachos says, I have a slice of dream cake for your birthday. Also, you don't look a day over 25 years old. We know that's not true. Uh, here's some puns. Yet or not, it's your birthday. Have a great birthday. Hope that's not too cheesy. You're not old, you're aged to perfection. Thank you very much, cool man. Juna, thank you very much for the birthday wishes and Cyclovex as well, hey. Happy special day, Worker Quill 18. Please enjoy your allocated 42 gram special ration of cake-like substitute on this day of note to yourself. HR would like to remind you to avoid your special whiskey-like substitute ration until the end of your shift. Thank you, Cyclovex, for getting into the mood of the situation. Uh, much appreciated. We had some resubs. Ionizer's resub for two months uh, with Prime. Remember that Prime button. Private Paula, 
We're going to talk about you and conversions real soon there, Private Paula. Uh, it's resub for 83 months. That Ifrit guy's at 47 months. Blissey's at 83. Uh, Goria gifted some subs. Thank you very much, Goria. Net Stranger's resub for nine months. Drago at 17 months. A Theodore gifted some subs as well. Cheers and thank you. Fopal has resub for 14 months. Zinthia at 79 months. Sparrowhawk at 64. Goria also resub to themselves at 47 months. Salvius at 73. Elm at 60 months. Wizard Blackhawk at four months. Crincy official at 23 months. Grom the Pouch at 27. Boba Bashug at 60 months. It's a five-year Twitch anniversary. Elf Siren at 66 months. Fang at 58. Uh, thank you very much over there. We've also got a new sub. Rallo Tubbs has subbed for the first time. Thank you very much. You remembering that Prime subscription. We got some bits coming in. Tro just gave a whole crap ton of bits. Thank you very much, Tro. <laughs> what level do you evolve from Quill 18 to Pen 15? I know all about that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hasten gives some, gifted some subs. I don't remember if I actually said that out loud. And for Evil Not Good also sent in some bits. Thank you very much. Everyone, let's start playing some games. Oh, and that's new Whiskey and Chocolate. Didn't know if that was an old in the back queue. For Evil Not Good, happy birthday, plus one Wiz, minus one Con. Have I gone up an age category in D&D? Oof, that's rough. Uh, I don't think I'm getting wiser, just simply older. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. <clears throat> Last Saturday, when we played, I had an exceptionally difficult time stopping. I actually, it was really hard for me not to keep playing on my own. In fact, if you compare the time from the end of the last stream to the time now, technically it did advance a little because I was making a couple little changes here and there um, because just like pre-laying out some stuff wasn't quite enough. I, it was really hard for me to stop. Um, but making a few changes and part of it, I want to give, Ooh, I may not be able to find that tweet on Twitter. Someone. Oh God, it would have been a week ago. Arrgh. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Shoot. I can't see it to give proper credit. But somebody um, sent me an interesting link with some information about conversions. Um, to uh, because we're we're doing uh, religious conversions or ideological conversions over here, um, and someone sent me a link to an interesting video to explain things. Now the video was fairly long, and I mean I realize I'm talking about longer videos, um, but the point is about how the conversions work. And I'm gonna talk about that and I'm gonna read those in a second, just so that I can finish this thought over here. But I promise I won't forget uh, these whiskey and chocolate contribu uh, contributions. So if we wanna convert someone with an ideology, and they've, they're, let's say they're a prisoner, right? Um, and we've got the, the conversion option set on the prisoner tab. I can't show you because we don't have a prisoner currently. Apparently the only thing that determines the amount of conversion percentage that happens is the social skill of the warden with one caveat, which we'll get to in a second. Um, the prisoner's mood, the room they're in, has no impact on that whatsoever. Um, the point of putting them in a crap room so that they have a bad mood is twofold. First of all, first of all, here's the thing. Um, every time I was checking someone's uh, loyalty, I was going to their bio tab. Don't do this. This tab is crap and pointless for this. Instead, this is a big discovery. Go to their social tab. Much more useful, because then when you mouse over, you get a breakdown of more information. Oh! And here's, so here's the other thing where mood does have an impact on conversion. When the warden goes and talks, the percentage change isn't affected by mood. However, people regain certainty in their ideology based on their mood. So if you keep them on a lower mood, their mood, their, their ideology certainty won't auto increase. If they're below 20% mood, they won't gain any ideological increase at all. That's useful. That's really, really useful information. There is one more exception to how mood impacts uh, people. And that is if someone's mood is very low and they have a breakdown, one of the breakdowns they can have is an instant switch to another ideology. So in the case of Private Paula here, it actually would be exceptionally useful if we were trying to convert her to keep her mood ridiculously low, A, so that it wouldn't bounce back, and B, so that we could have her have a uh, a mood break to switch to another ideology. Now, there's a chance it might switch to ours, but it is completely random. 
in Private Paula's case, we would be okay with anything absolutely random because this tab also gives you an incredibly useful uh, breakdown of the global certainty loss factor. This is the thing that actually changes. I said that only the warden's social skill affects the percentage of certainly lost on a conversion attempt. That's not exactly true because the pawns could have certain built-in stuff that has a flat percentage modifier to how much is converted. So let's say a conversion attempt is supposed to knock 10% off a of private Paula's certainty. Because she's got this 40% certainty loss factor, she will only lose 40% of that. So she'll only lose 4% instead of 10%. Um, and then it gives you a breakdown here on this amazing tab, which I didn't know was here. Boy, this would have made our life simpler before. It tells you why that's from, and in private Paula's case, it's because her loyalty party has a trait that um, keeps it very, very strong. Um, there are other traits that can impact uh, that, like there could be, um, um, psychological traits, like the things that show up on the bio over here. Some of these traits can also impact that. And that will be visible over here, which is so much more useful. Um, and so now when we get prisoners, we can check this, or if we're trying to decide if we want to imprison something, we can check this to see very quickly at a glance to see if they've got any traits um, that might make them very difficult to convert. There are also some traits that increase the certainly loss factor makes them much easier to convert. So we'll be taking a look at that on our future prisoners when we decide whether to capture them or not. Now, if we get more people from the loyal party, that's not a big deal. Um, but what we'll definitely want to do is put them in a crap room, bring their mood down to zero so they break. Um, I guess um, with regular pawns, if they have a break, because there's different levels, right, of mood over here and these little ticks you can get certain different like breaks that can happen apparently for prisoners the only breaks they can have is when they're at the extreme level all the way down at the bottom over here in which case they can do one of two things i and it's 50 50 apparently either they go berserk and try to smash things or they convert now them going berserk can be problematic but what we can do is we can just like wall them up when they're in this room over here, which will A, make sure they don't get fed so they'll get that much more miserable, and B, if they go berserk, they're actually not gonna be able to get out of the room if there's a wall over here, so we can just ignore them. We can just leave them in there until they get an ideological break, or they starve to death, or maybe we sell them to a passing ship. Okay, that conversation dealt with. Let's go and read the uh, new messages that have just come in, and then we'll unpause and start to play. Whew. Whiskey and chocolate fun. We got Crincy coming in. Thank you very much, Crincy. Wow. Crincy says, happy birthday. I've been away from my boyfriend and family on an internship for six months. Your content has been instrumental in helping my mental health while it's been away. Thanks for everything you do. Enjoy your B-Day. Thank you very much, Crincy. And again, doing doing this helps my mental health too. So it's like, it's you know, it's a, it's a two-way thing. It really does... Uh, you know, sometimes there are days when I'm like, oh man, I'm tired. I don't know if I can stream today. But during the stream, I'm always excited. So thank you very much for making, you know, everyone for continuing to make all of this happen because it really is kind of a two-way street, man. <sighs> so thank you, Crincy. Thank you, no one here's what he appears. Says there's something wrong about birthdays. You get all the presents, but you did nothing. The woman who did all the hard work and then takes care of you for 20 plus years keeps giving you gifts. Three cheers for Quill's mom. I do quite like my mom. Yes, let's get some cheers for my mom. Thank you so much for that. That's really sweet. I like that message. That was really cool. My parents called me this morning. It was lovely. Uh, Plain Coast Hills, thank you as well. It says, RimWorld is like aging. It's hard to stop. I mean, aging sucks, but it's better than the alternative. And Gorn Verneller, thank you, Verneller, thank you very much, says, oh, have you ever played Civ mods? Really like the fantasy mod Fall From Heaven 2? It's really good. Really, it is really excellent. Um, when I'm playing vanilla Civ 4, I always use the, um, the Better Bug AI mod, which is fantastic for UI tweaks and does make the AI a beast to combat. Keep doing what you're doing. Your content's the highest quality. Menaces with spikes of Petra points. Thank you. Oh, and some bits from 4 Evil. Thank you. <laughs> Happy early Mother's Day. Yeah. Rimbo <laughs> also sucks with the alternative. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and unpause over here. Um, as a reminder, pawns uh, will automatically be named based on people who are participating in chat. Uh, and that includes our animal critters. Now, let's talk about a few changes over here. I've decided to make this entire area a prisoner cell area. I mean, the, insert, the intern 
um, educational area, the onboarding area. We keep coming up with different names for it. Um, but I'm going to have this whole area tweaked a little bit. First of all, um, one thing is going to be a lot easier to manage the temperature by having basically all these things vented together. So I'm moving these internal vents to over here. At least I thought, I thought I was moving them. Oh, are these new constructions? That's not what I want. Well, some of them will have to be new construction. Oh, it's because I can't deconstruct and move these. Never mind. I do want these vents over here. Okay. So we're going to do this. And this I'm smoothing and digging this little bit out so that this is all going to be one connected area for temperature control purposes, which should make it a lot easier to do. And the idea is this is going to be ready to go for just the prisoners. Um, and then if we need to do a specific, um, like... Uh, ideological break attempt with someone that's hard, then we can go and reestablish these cells and put them in there. Um, so we'll see about that. So we're going to lose a little bit of our farming area, but that's going to be okay. I've also remembered that I did install the doormat mod. So I'm going to go and place a few doormats in places just to try to uh, limit how much dirt accumulation we have in the room. This should minimize some of the cleaning, which is going to be wonderful. Um, also, I think we talked about this at the end of last stream. I'm going to replace the steel wall with stone. I did really like the look of the steel wall, and we'll do some more of that afterwards. I did really like the look of the steel walls, and I like the idea that we're building, you know, these high-tech things, but we are burning through a lot of steel. I also went ahead and um, deconstructed the um, hydroponic basins we had set up. Uh, we don't actually need the hydroponic set up yet, um, I don't think. It's, at least if we can keep hunting and we can get a few good harvests, we should be okay. Actually, I'll probably, after the next hay grass harvest over here, I'll probably switch this to some more plants. Um, and I think we can live without it. So um, I deconstructed everything. This one here is still waiting, but that's okay. Um, and then uh, to get the steel back, I do have, with the um, the Tweaks Galore mod, we are getting back all of our material from deconstruction. It was either that or reinstall the thing to let us move stuff. Because um, that's effectively like... You know, why can't we move this basin? You know, yeah, it's big and heavy. Three or four people help. Um, so instead, we'll just have it so we can deconstruct it and then rebuild it and get all the material back. Um, what's the difference in temp loss between steel and stone? I don't know if there is. I don't think wall material affects temperature transfer. I think the only thing that matters is double thickness, which help, which does help. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, Private Paul, thank you very much. Happy birthday. Now go break me, boss. Just let me keep one toe so I don't fall over all the time. <laughs> For reference over here, um, uh, Private Paul has had kind of a rough time. Uh, they are down to four toes, right? Because their left leg's gone completely and they're missing their right little toe. I mean, at least it's a little toe. It's probably the least important, right? It's not, at least it's not the big toe. Uh, Juna suggested to keep the pinky so we can find furniture in the dark. Because <laughs> that's notoriously what you bump into. Unfortunately, that one is already gone. But yeah, uh, what I said with Private Paula is if ever Private Paula here has some sort of break, we will arrest her and then, um, you know, uh, we'll, we'll just put her in one of our HR camps over here to get her re-educated into the, uh, the proper ideology. But I'm going to wait until then. <laughs> Will have to eat myself today. Uh, yeah, so scave rat. Do we still have the scave rat pig? Is that what you're... There, right here. Well, not yet. You haven't been butchered yet. We are butchering some sort of critter over there. What is this? This is a Jazeum's corpse. Jazeum dead. Mm -hmm. Doormats work really well with the plasteel floors from the More Floors mod. These floors can't get dirty, so all the dirt just instantly disappears when the pond walk across. What, isn't that sort of redundant then? Do, why would you need mats if the plasteel floors can't get dirty? Because it sounds like it would be redundant, but I'm probably missing something about it. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait to be a mufflo, says Banshee Cry. We do have plenty of like critters out here right now. Uh, no Banshee Cry currently. We have a rat named Essentia Monica. Aww. I love rats. I used to have a pet rat when I was a teenager, and I love that thing. Rats are brilliant. Yeah, Essentia's hanging out with uh, John Watnick and Lola over here. Oh, oh, I'm a rat. <laughs> I love this Twitch integration. It's so wonderful. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> yeah, and at least we probably won't be hunting the rats. So the rats actually, uh, unless they get hunted by like um, a fox or a wolf or something like that, uh, this should be okay. There is a grizzly on the map. We will probably... Who's the grizzly? Right here, Blood Dragon. 
That's a scary name for a grizzly bear. Have you heard the tale of the meanest bear in all the realm? We call it the blood dragon. Dun, dun, dun. We'll probably have to do a drafted hunt and uh, take it out before it causes problems. <laughs> Only reason rats aren't controlling the earth is they don't care for that amount of work. <laughs> yeah. Can people only name two things at once? Yeah, I mean, clearly, because we have a scave rat pig and a scave rat person. It just pulls it by random. It's, I, you know, uh, I could see, like, some certain improvements that, or options, anyway, that could be added to the Twitch chat mod um, to, you know, prevent that, keep track of names or things like that. I'm not going to complain about it, though. Like, it's, it's cool. It would be neat to have a few more options, but I certainly ain't complaining about that mod. The only thing I would like... Yeah, Boba, you're something. I can't... I, are you one of our tamed animals? Yeah, you're one of our piglets. Um, the only thing I might like... It is kind of entertaining to have the wild critters named things, but I would probably not name the wild animals. Only the tamed ones. On the other hand, it's kind of entertaining to, like, hunt someone from chat. Oh, we got a turkey here. Dara Morris. Dead turkey. And no, infestations are triple disabled. <laughs> which, yes, people in chat will, will repeat, which is excellent. Triple disabled. Faction disabled, event disabled, and I have a mod to disable it because infestations are terrible and I hate them. <laughs> Does give more chance to people to show up. That's true, by, by naming all the animals. <laughs> Funky Town wants to be a donkey. Donkey! So what's Jay last doing? Oh, just meditating. You know what I'm going to get you to do? I'm just going to get you to come over here, Jay. Just deconstruct this right now. Just so I can get the final plans done. Thanks. Cheers. Just going to copy the base in here like that. And then just disallow you. So we've got our plans down for this, but nothing is currently being built. Oh, I guess that's not true. The radiators are. Uh, I guess I'll block that one. The other one got built, but that's fine. I'm not as concerned about the radiator wasting a bunch of material for us. So yeah, this is going to be reconstruct. We do have three working on construction now, which is nice. <laughs> Love watching this game, can't get into it. Yeah, a lot of people like that with the Dwarf Fortress especially. Uh, right, this is just turned off because our this one solar heater seems to be doing like all the hot water we need. Maybe if we needed, maybe if there was more of a like a winter cycle and we we're reliant on our radiators to keep our base heated more, maybe that like this setup wouldn't be enough. But as is, this is a ridiculous amount of hot water. Subscriber notifications off? They are not. Arrow. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it here. Did it not pop up? Sometimes the queue can be a little slow, although it's not currently going anything up. Arrow engineer, uh, engineered, arrow engineered, just resub for 72 months. Can I request a naming for six years? Um, what you, if you are active in chat, you should get named at some point. Just keep an eye out, especially for the wild animals that come in and out. I don't know why there'd be no pop-up. The pop-ups were happening. Solar flare, no electricity at all. I don't think that's going to ruin us. Solar flares are usually shortish. I'm worried with like reconstructing the wall. We might lose some of our freezerness, but I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I'm not too concerned. We did get rid of the... Um, you do usually just watch? Arrow? Yeah. Um, uh, right, you deconstructed the... Um, uh, what was this called? The sewage underground, septic tank. We get, got rid of that because now we have the sewage treatment thing. This does use power, but it seems fine. So we got a little bit of material back. Hopefully you don't get raided. Yeah, that's usually what the game does, right? Because you solar flares, so your guns don't work and then you get raided. <gasps> the plague, life of the cookie, penguin bloke, Matamori and Kjobu. You know, Kjobu, your name makes me think of the, um, the Scrabble word from the Simpsons. <laughs> I think it's more like Kimboyo or something. It was Bart plays it against Homer. Um, but I always think of that when I see your name. Oh no. I think they'll probably be okay. Yeah, treatments are happening immediately. We'll probably be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, digging out new rooms over here because we're gonna be moving all of our peeps out of that area. This is bed. Well, this is a good bed. You know what we can plan on doing is just moving. Here, I'm gonna cancel this completely. We'll plan on moving that double bed over there. Jay's sitting around. You, you gonna be having a meeting with someone? No, you're just relaxing socially in the dark? Okay, that's fine. I mean, I guess everything's dark. Someone's gotta go in and plug the sink. I don't know why the sinks keep getting plugged. I never see the clogged toilets. Maybe we'll get a better 
do we get, well, we'll probably get better sinks at some point rather than these basins. I mean, we got the kitchen sink. Increases room cleanliness. Wow. We do have that. Yes, we do have that in our kitchen right here. Volcanic winter. <sighs> Some distant volcano or fire has begun spewing massive quantities of ash into the atmosphere. Ash in the atmosphere will obscure the sun. Temperatures will drop and plants will suffer for lack of sunlight. Could pass in a few weeks or might last many quadrums. I guess we have to get the hydroponics up after all, don't we? Now, I don't think the plants will instantly die. I think it's going to impact... <laughs> Mubot. <laughs> I think it's going to um, impact uh, their growth rate. Yeah, you see it's 99% instead of 100%. It's pretty hot right now, so actually we wouldn't mind a bit of a temperature drop. Solar flare and volcanic winter. Oh, the farm animals. You think it's going to affect their grass? Damn, it might. Can I strip this concrete away? Hmm. I'm thinking we're going to expand this area a little bit as well to give them more grazing territory, but... Okay, what's the temperature? It's still 36 degrees. Plants, 98%. I wonder if it gets worse over time. Little shell shed in the animal area, give it a grow light. Oh, that is interesting. Does grass grow under a grow light? That is neat. 95%. Yeah, the growth rate is dropping, though slowly. Ooh, cargo pods. A single cargo pod with panoxiclin. This is the anti flu medicine, right? Prevent oh, prevents infections before they take hold. Blocks malaria, sleeping sickness, plague. Must be taken every five days to remain effective. Yeah, so this is quite useful if you have a constant uh, source of this. You can just dose your people with it every five days to get immunity to plague events and various things. But we do need quite a lot of it to make sense. We'll probably just end up selling it. Will the grow light work if it's outside? I think you can get zotted, but we could build like a little roof. We could put like, wait, I can talk a sentient pig? We could put like a one tile pillar and then a grow light. Maybe that would work. Yeah, growth rate's down to 91%. 90. But yeah, it can last a really long time. Oh, geez, that is gonna be, that is going to be rough. Okay, well, we're still, we're stripping down the steel walls, replacing them with slate. We're gonna get some more steel. Well, we got a thousand right now. Um, we are also like designated a little bit of steel mining is going to happen. We're going to let the construction that we've got queued up go ahead um, to get the material back. Oh yeah, now it's a night cycle. Heat stroke. Scave rat. How hot is it inside? 21 degrees. Okay, so you're going to be fine. JLAS is now 16 in, in construction. Uh, I believe it does affect our solar panels as well, but our power situation is actually ridiculous right now with the geothermal. Although, uh, once we get the hydroponics up, it will eat a lot more of our power. Because I was actually considering bringing down the wind turbine to get the material back. I'm like, I don't know, we'll, we'll leave it. It's going to be okay. Oh, I had meant to add in um, or activate, because I should still have it downloaded, the mod to um, change how breakdowns happen. Mostly for when we get the auditors. Wait, is three not of our ideology? Oh, I thought you were. Oh. oh shit, you're really hard to convert. See, 20% because of the religion and because he's abrasive. So three would also would be an excellent candidate for shoving in here and just hoping we RNG it. How do you get heat stroke in a volcano? Well, that's the thing, it's still really hot. It's 29 degrees C at night during a volcanic winter. It's pretty intense. Like, uh, it's like having sex in a teepee. Being intense. Oh, we finished the multi-analyzer. Groovy. So I'm gonna build it here. Apparently I did sell off all the gold. What I'll do is I'll um, allocate it. Make a little L-shape there. Apparently I'm, I'm big into doing L-shaped little desks today and then the L-shaped rooms. It's a whole theme for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so we'll just plant it out there, and then I think we've got gold in Demdower Hills over here, um, that I suppose I could force someone to go and mine it. 
which wouldn't be bad. I could send Juna out there. I think Junas are our primo miner right now. Yeah, Juna basically spends all their time mining. 17 skill, they go fast. Mm -hmm. L stands for money. I'll say L. I'll locate it. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing some other mining, or maybe it's another work sound. Let's say I heard mining, but and I mean technically we have mining enabled for a few people, but usually they're going to be doing something else instead. Juno, you're awake. What are you doing? You're going to consume a fine meal. I'll let you do that, and then I'm a man. You tell you to go and mine out a little bit of gold for us. You want to shower? You know what? Shower later. Come here. Mine. Mine. CK the uh, guinea pig. The Ifrit Gaia bunny. Not so dark light. Lord and Brixified. Scott bot. The bots keep getting named because they're so active in chat. I like how our different games have completely different ways to, uh, to name people. Right? Some you gotta enter a draw, some you just have to be watching, and some reward chat. And you end up with a different percentage mix of different people. I like it. There you go. Just mine it all out there, Juna. Thanks. We don't need that much gold for the multi-analyzer. But it's like, while you're here, what the heck. And I love how productive our little puppers are. Picking up all that gold for us. Such good boys and girls. Uh, treat stream should be enabled, yeah. Oh, it's not. I should probably wait a little bit. It's on. I did hide the sushi, though, because I had so much sushi last night, I don't want any more. <laughs> uh, all right, sterile materials got done. That I'm very excited about. Because what we can do with this is we can make sterile tiles that boost the cleanliness of things. Obviously, you know, you can associate that with hospital stuff. But it's also really good for our cooking environment here. I'm just trying to decide. I don't think it matters to the butcher's table. Now, I don't want the whole room to be done like that. So I'm just thinking I'm going to make a smaller area. Now, these are steel walls, and we are going to keep trying to convert away from that. What do I have a lot of? We have a lot of slate. Good. Okay. Let's do a smaller kitchen area here. I don't want it super small because I want to keep their mood up while they're cooking. And actually, if I do something like this, we'll have enough room for a second cooking table. I could put um, a cooking table over here, which would be kind of nice. So we'll do this. We'll put down a wooden door over there. And then this room here will be flagged with sterile tiles. And the other thing is, I'm running a mod that has a priority clean option here. Anywhere that's got sterile tiles gets cleaned with this clean plus priority. Jesus, that, that happened fast. That happened so fast. <laughs> oh, Lord, okay. <clears throat> Um, yeah, the, the sterile tiles will be cleaned at super high priority. But I also have another mod that's like a common sense mod or something that does cause people to like sort of clean the area nearby them. Um, so it's very likely that area would still clean. You see, see how parent, Peter Entwistle went and cleaned this spot over here before starting this job? So that's another thing. So that's why we don't need to worry too much about spam cleaning other than when we have hallways filled with blood, which happens sometimes. But yeah, between the common sense mod the doormat, and now this. Our kitchen should be really clean. So thank you very much, why me, for the gift of a classic Putsin. Very excited for that. <laughs> why are we laughing hysterically? Because I got freaked out. I got jump scared by the freaking treat stream again. How you doing, Life of the Cookie? How's your, uh, your plague? 93% immune, excellent. Life of the Cookie is the poor dog with dementia as well, but we still love her. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's Putin? Putin is like Canada's greatest contribution to the world. You are welcome, world. More than anything else. And Putin is also my backup plan. If this whole like YouTube and Twitch thing doesn't work out, I'm moving to Scotland and opening a Putin truck because Scottish people are gonna freaking love Putin and I'll make all the pounds in the universe. Mm-hmm. All the pounds. Both because it'll make them fat, but also because that's the currency of the country. 
There you go, roof that up, lovely. Okay, the vents have been built so I can remove these old ones and get the material back. And yeah, you're gonna be moving over here, which is gonna be great. This is still our biosolids composter, just converting over some of the fecal sludge that we had from our previous outhouse into fertilizer, which is here, lovely. Um, now, I don't know how to actually use it. Useful for harsh environments with limited space to grow. Biosolids also produce a large boost of fertility of sand. But I don't actually know how to use it. Hey, give subs. Thanks, Darv. And give subs. Thank you so much. Say we should thank you for Putin, but I cannot find Putin anywhere near me, so I'm actually quite salty because Putin just cannot have it. <sighs> you just gotta put in some requests. Move to Scotland in a van, follow the truck around. There is a really good Putin place in Glasgow, which was surprising. Uh, what is it, Slate Flagstone? It's not important. Well, it's sort of important to fill in some of these gaps. Uh, but there's some flooring here that I don't have to replace, except I wanna because I want it to have the same look. So yeah, we'll just do this. Oh, wait, a random joint? A random person just joined. Sugar. I think that they haven't been renamed yet until they join. You just want to join the colony. Willing to contribute. Will not leave voluntarily. Claiming to... Your colonists... You can turn us to send them away. No, we'll take a new... We'll take a new employee. Wow. Look at this look. The freaking tattoo in the middle of forehead. Sort of spiky things. Reformed raidism. Outdoorsy sickly. Um, so they have nothing that will make them harder to convert and they might get auto converted. We can use, uh, we can use some of our, we can use a ritual and stuff to convert them. That should work pretty well. Um, so if we, uh, they're just immediately stripping on the edge of the map, um, in, they should get renamed relatively soon. Although I think I can force it. There we go. If I just hit this waiting for rename, I'm probably waiting for someone to type Cyclovex. Hey, welcome to this colony Cyclovex. Boom. What are your skills? Good medical, crafting, and you even have a passion for mining? No wonder you want to join us. Oh, industrial orphan. Oh, well, you're, yes, please. Thank you. Um, so let's get you some tasks. So firefight this, max priority doctoring, that's gonna be great. Bed rest, hall plus, clean plus is okay. Leave the basic on. Turn off your wardening. I'm gonna turn off the animal handling for you. Um, and we'll go mine into crafting. I mean, we probably would ultimately prefer you to do a lot of crafting, but right now I think I'm gonna be very happy with you taking care of some mining for us. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Not bad having more crafters, always want some. And that's true. I think we'll be happy like helping, getting them to help out with some of this uh, mining that we're trying to do over here. Not that it's, this is an important area, but then yeah, we'll enable some crafting and it's gonna be wonderful. Barbara, I've been watching 10 minutes before the stream started and now I get a notification Twitch you're live. Yeah, Twitch is, is twitchy, man. Twitch is twitchy. How's the uh, growth on the plants? What time is it, 20 at night? So, I mean, they're not going to grow right now anyway. We might, it's going to be time. It's going to be time to do the harvest soon. No, Kajobo has died from the plague. Oh. Well, dog meat's back on the menu. Remember Twitch wants more money now for that. Yeah, I know. It's, it's corporate investors, man. They, all they care about a short-term profit. They're willing to take one year of extra profit at a cost of like destroying the business in the future. I don't care. They just want their money now so they can, you know, see their stock price rise so they can sell off their stock and then they don't care what happens. Uh, yeah, Twitch wants like to run more commercials I and mean, they haven't implemented it yet, but they want to run more commercials while giving content creators, you know, the people who make all the stuff less money. Yeah, we'll see. There's been a lot of back rat, backlash, so um, hopefully they will uh, rethink some of their plots and plans. Because, yeah, Twitch would actually already like me to run one minute of commercial every 20 minutes. Which, I mean, admittedly, that's a heck of a lot better than television. But, like, meh. I mean, and I guess if you're subscribed, you don't see the ads. For now, who knows? 
I will say this, the one advantage is if I manually run a, a commercial on the channel, it does de it does disable pre-rolls for a while um, so that you know people joining the stream don't see a commercial immediately, which is actually probably quite good for viewer retention, you know, for bringing new viewers in because they're more likely to like click, see content immediately and be like, oh, maybe I'll watch this. So that's actually like, a, that was a really smart idea. They implemented that a while ago. And I was like, that was pretty brilliant, actually. Incentivizes running commercials in strategic ways. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, hate pre-rolls and checking out channels, right? Exactly. Now, I mean, Twitch will still only show you a commercial so often. So if you click on a, com on a channel, you see the commercial. If you switch to another channel, you shouldn't see a pre-roll instantly, I don't think. I hope not. Because then at least when you're browsing, you'll still only see one from time to time. But yeah. I remember um, uh, Total Biscuit uh, negotiated a contract with Twitch to uh, keep pre-rolls disabled on his channel. Um, but that was a very special agreement that he got set up that he sort of grandfathered in on. Um, because yeah, he thought pre-rolls are a stupid idea. Ah, total biscuit. So many reasons we miss you. <laughs> when I play StarCraft 2, I still use the, uh, the total biscuit voice pack. It's wonderful. And it's so nice to hear him talking about, you know, needing more overlords. That's what I started watching his channel on uh, during the StarCraft 2 pre-release. Uh, and I think that's what was like definitely like the, the start of, of his channel going big. He had a few things before. He had a great radio voice. But I think it was the StarCraft 2 pre-release stuff um, that kind of kick-started things into high gear. And that's when I started watching because I was consuming all things StarCraft. I still mostly do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't believe it's been six years. Like, that, you tell me that. Like, I believe that you're telling me the truth. And yet, it actually seems so impossible that I'm, like, waiting for someone in Twitch chat to correct you. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. So, oh yes, okay, so sterile floor under the kitchen. It does matter because it boosts cleanliness of the room. Um, I don't know if there's a way to get that... I mean, there's the cleanliness over here. It's slightly dirty because of the little some dirt. But sterile tiles does boost the cleanliness of the room. And potentially more important... Oh, it's because the room is this entire room right now. we got to wait for this door. Jay, I'm going to wake you up. Oh, three's already going to work on it. Great. Uh, we need this door to be closed so that it's closed in. But this should increase the cleanliness of the room a lot and dramatically reduce the chance of food poisoning, which might not matter so much with our current skill. But yeah, this is a sterile room. You see that? And you see the exclamation mark? Cleanliness, important for this type of room. So this is now a sterile room, which is going to make it much less likely that we get any food poisoning or anything. Um, so that's gonna be that's gonna be lovely. Um, and I have the mod that makes it so that if there's any dirt in here because of sterile tile, it will be cleaned at a super high priority to keep the room clean. So it's kind of double. Yeah, I don't have the, um, I think we're gonna build a proper mayor's office over here later. So right now we don't exactly have a proper room, uh, mayor's office. Although this room is listed as being very impressive. It does, it all, it is all smooth and it is clean right now. So it's gonna be okay. Press T, oh, uh, yeah, because there's the, uh, or G someone said, it G, there it is. Which is the same as clicking on the object. I just couldn't remember where it was. Yeah, right over there. Uh, put a statue in there. Oh, in the mayor's office. Well, well pro actually, that's probably fine. Like this room is fine enough. We could we could add a few more decors, like a little privacy thing. But I kind of like this idea. This is sort of the management room, right? We literally have the management desk. Research to me is kind of related. The communications council console. So I, I kind of like the idea of keeping it like this. But we might yeah we might slap a few statues in here just to pretty it up. We'll see. Well, that's right. Research benefits from uh, that. That is true. Cleanliness does affect it. I forgot about that. So we'll see. A friend needing help. Sammy recently rescued two outlanders from an enemy jail. She wants you to guard them until she can send a shuttle. Outlanders will not do work. They appreciate quality accommodations. Gain goodwill if you keep... Holy crap. Well, I don't really care about a great bow. The value's nice. We'd probably just sell it. The harpsichord we could use for decoration. Silent Neuroformer. Forms or upgrades of silence. So this will make one of our people psychic. I don't 
no, like, because we're not going royalty, so some psychic stuff would be cool. But I think I kind of want the harpsichord. Even though I don't care about the great bow, and we'll probably just end up selling it. Check the stats for the great bow. It's better than an assault rifle. Seriously? But I think I'm going to accept this first one. With a psychic in the group, we can see the stock changes. Psychic boss keep track of employees. I know we don't need to go Imperial. We could also worship the tree and stuff. It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel... Um, it doesn't feel thematic for me. Even though I think the Psylink would be the much, much better, stronger option. I don't want to do it. So I'm not. I'm going to accept this. It doesn't sound like they're going to be raided. We just have to keep two people alive for 17 days, which is admittedly a fairly long time and a fair amount of food. True worship would be pretty powerful, perhaps too much, though. Yeah, we worship the shareholder value, exactly. Cut down the tree, make, um, make uh, sawdust, yeah. Silence just a Bluetooth. Yeah, we're going to do this. I don't think it's as good, but we're going to do this. Now, we do actually have some pretty good rooms. So it's <laughs> Scottbot, which I love, and Trudy, which I don't think has been renamed yet. Hang on, let's let them land so I can actually select them properly. There we go. Yeah, you're not linked to anyone. Scottbot was. I like how because it's got the hashtag, it uh, it, it doesn't capitalize their name. And Stealth! Okay, Scottbot and Stealth. We're gonna go... We're gonna put you in these two rooms. They'll be pretty nice, and that'll keep them happy. Uh, oh, don't be medical. Just be a regular unowned room, but I think we're still short one bed. You can allow this, and Jay, can you come over here and prioritize making that bed for us? Thanks. Juno, we're going to put you in one of the new rooms. I'm sorry. Why not set up medicine, fridge, and HR education? Um, that is true. We keep talking about it, and then I keep not doing it. That's an excellent idea. I don't remember, is it under temperature? I don't think so. Oh, it is here. Wait, walled. Oh, presumably this one counts as a wall, so you can put it in a wall. Oh, that's neat. Oh, and the pop-up menu has the things. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna put herbal medicine in here because by default, that's what the prisoners get assigned to. And yeah, so apparently we're gonna get these messages about them being idle all the time, which is kind of annoying. Uh, that's right. I forgot the clean plus mod doesn't does actually override, so they can actually do work with the clean plus. What I can do is I can disable clean plus on everyone except those two, and they will keep the kitchens clean. That's that's literally all they'll do. So they're still not really going to do any work, but what the heck, right? I just wish it wasn't spamming us about. Well, it's not spam exactly, but I wish it wasn't telling us about um, they're they're being idle because it's a little distracting and confusing. Okay, so we still have growth rate on this. The plants aren't just dying off. They're just growing extremely slowly. So that's good news. Um, I'm actually going to ask, um, let's do a high priority uh, harvest on this, please. Thanks, Paula. Because I wanna change what grows here. I wanna grow some more food. And I'll probably just do more corn. It's a long growth cycle. It's fairly work efficient. There we go. Hey, Peter Rent Whistle leveled up on plants. Lovely. Because we have this huge area for hay now. Hay now! Why not make more tile sterile and have them be the main cleaners? That's not a bad idea, Ugg. Um, partially because the sterile tiles are expensive to build because they use silver. But um, we could prep the hospital. The thing is, I'm still thinking about making this area kind of a hospital that's bigger. Although... Now, I do really want to make another hospital. Maybe now's the time to do it, or at least lay down the sterile tiles for it. Um, what I want to do for sure... So I'm going to keep the batteries kind of over there. If we did something like this, I know there's no door, but... Hang on a sec. Uh, and we don't have hospital beds yet, right? No. 
And I think that's part of what I'm kind of waiting for. room for more beds than this. You know Hold on. Hmm. I want the medical things, and it'd be nice to have TVs for them to watch. Not that we have the tech, but I kind of want to lay out room for that. Unless what we do is we dig out, like, a large area like this for a hospital. We, it needs to be easy to access from the outside. On the other hand, we also need it to be safe. But I suppose if I do this, we could put a, a few guns over here to dissuade using this as an entrance for invaders. And digging is good. I mean, mining is kind of what we're here for. We can get a big room that's got lots of space. It'll be quite expensive, but we can get this whole thing set up to be sterilized. But I don't think we need that much space. How, how much do we actually want? Let's see. Okay. Well, we're going to want the wooden bed. Or we're going to want a bed. And then we're going to want a spot for the medical monitor. I like putting it at the end of the bed. And then, like, you put a TV, like, here or something so that people in the beds can see it. And if it's a widescreen, I, it might be able to cover more beds. I mean, honestly, this is kind of fine. For, wait, you can have a vital monitor function and work multiple beds? Wait, seriously? All of a sudden, that's kind of interesting. So you could have two, like, face-to-face, -face, but you could do something like this, which is very interesting and space-efficient, and more importantly, looks kind of cool. The problem is uh, the TV. So flat screen does a six by five, so six wide, five deep. Well, this is five deep. So theoretically, let's pretend this bed is a widescreen. If I put a widescreen TV here, even though it looks like this one's facing the wrong way. Works on diagonal as well. Wait, what? So you're telling me if this was a, a, a monitor, all three of these beds would benefit from it? Oh shit, I never knew that. Well then, okay, here's the thing. Even though we could do this and have eight beds fed off the same area, I don't like the way this looks. And yes, you're right. The TV area doesn't do the area right in front of it. It needs to have a gap. This looks really cool to me though. Does it look cool to anyone else? I like this. Now, can people in this bed be treated properly medically? It does feel a little weird that you can't walk to it. But I think it'll work. I think the, 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 me the medic was just going to stand on the other bed and work on it. We can pretend there's a little gap. Yeah, minus one mood, crick. Well, this person can watch TV lying on their side. Yeah, no, no not with the batteries. No, I know. We're not going to want to do the battery thing. We want them to be in their own area. Okay. If I do this again, well, I, I think I, I think I just want to get the batteries out of here, actually. Where are we going to stick these batteries? Maybe I'll just, I was going to reserve a bunch of this space for, um, like, water towers and stuff, but we don't actually need that many. I'm going to move the batteries out here. So I'm going to do that. Um, build roof area. Like so. Yeah, I, ch just chop down the tree, it's fine. Don't be a whiner, game. Bees the hotkey. Uh, Galsiv, oh, uh, Galsiv 4 is gonna, the stream is gonna continue on Wednesdays. 
some of the reviews are in for Galsiv, and they some of them have been good. Some of them have been a little uh, and certainly we had a few things to complain about in our particular um, video about it, which I think were fair complaints about certain UI things and different stuff like that. It is quite cool, and I'm, I'm going to be playing some more. Yeah, let's move these batteries and we can start planning out this hospital. And anyway, this whole discussion started because of, hey, we're, we should put some more sterile tiles down. <laughs> it's funny how, like, one thing leads to another. It, every now and again, I see, um, for some of the games I cover, I'll see people go on, like, Reddit or something and asking for a tutorial. And they, like, well, I don't want a tutorial that's, like, 30 minutes long. And, like, based on the games they're asking for, it's, like, Civ or Stellaris or this and that. I'm like, I, I don't know how you can do a two-minute tutorial for these games. Because the problem is everything's interconnected. And you can't just be like, just click this, 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 because you're like, how do you explain even, like, Sometimes you can't even explain how to hit a button without a five minute explanation. And you certainly can't ask, answer why you should answer that question without a large explanation. We really do have to boop um, the um, the blood dragon here. Let's get our peeps out. I know it's in the rain, but a bunch of them are gonna be walking out in the rain anyway. Let's get a bunch over here and we'll turn on some drafted hunt. Mm -hmm. Steel tiles for the Marisol. Well, we might, we. Um, we might do sterile tiles for like the the whole thing for the research as well. I think the mayor's office probably will get that. Oh, Cyclovic just has a knife. Yeah, we'll prop and actually some of our people aren't armed as well. So you know what? We'll keep Cyclovex here because we might have to stab the bear. Uh, drafted hunt. Got I love drafted hunt as a function. Cool. Um. Oh, don't, don't attack the turtle, Bunisher. It's going to take you a thousand years to do that. Cyclovex, just come over here and uh, finish off Blood Dragon, will you? Rip Blood Dragon. There we are. Here, can you... Uh... Yeah, just, just haul him, please. Thanks. And yeah, we'll have to check some armaments. But at some point, it could hunt one of us or one of our puppies or something, and that would have been less than ideal. Uh, oh, um, cancel this. I mean, we're going to want to dig this out at some point, but maybe not yet. Oh, Borbara is still recruited. Sorry, Borbara. Okay, Scave Rat, you have no weapon. You're basically purely melee. Let's do that. Banana has... Oh, Banana has a weapon. You have a short bow and a beer. I thought it was going to be a Molotov cocktail. Wait, where's your beer? Forget about beer. Oh, yeah, shield belt. Um, well, it looks like banana is going to be a pure meleeer as well. Although we don't have a melee weapon for you. You've got the shield belt, which is great. Tell you what, let's um, let's have banana pick up the weapon right now, since you have the shield belt already. Oh, you have a shield belt as well. They both they both have shield belts. Excellent. Okay, and then Cyclovex, what's your deal? You are just terrible at all the things. Well, congratulations. Go ahead and equip the bolt-action rifle. And we'll see if we can get you a melee weapon later. We do have the repeating job to make a glady eye. Yeah. Guns and beer, perfect combination for an accident. What could possibly go wrong? All right, Suchin's over here. Yeah, let me um, unforbid this as well. And then, yeah, at some point we'll move the double bed over there. Yeah, you're right. I do actually tend to like um, machine pistols for low skills because, first of all, they can accidentally shoot people um, if they don't they don't need precision. And something that fires fast gives them a lot more XP. Hospital bed is done, and we don't have any more research queued. I kind of like the idea to start jewelry making because I'm curious as what this mod does. We also got modern furniture over here. Ergonomic chairs, wardrobe, ergonomic double beds. Oh, irrigation. That's how we do our fertilizing stuff. 
It's Let's do this. We'll get jewelry. We'll unlock carpeting. And then maybe we'll unlock a bunch of electronics. Computers for fun, radios, flat screen TV. Actually, I kind of like that idea. We got whiskey and chocolate. Who dat? Olawan, thank you very much. Oh, I should check the uh, the food situation. I don't know if Essentia just has or not. Oh, auto doors as well. Dang, parties are hard. Olawan, thank you so much. Hey, Quill, happy birthday. Take this as an incentive to keep on producing more of your excellent content, which has sustained me through many tedious meetings. Glad to catch a live stream of RimWorld finally. Greetings from Germany. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Um, Donko Shun. Four minutes on your 30 minute timer. Thanks, Essentia. Thanks for looking. At I don't, Essentia gets, um, um, uh, text messages when her treat stream's on the way. We don't get text messages for me, even though it's literally the same um, delivery service account. We literally just use one account for the household to order food, but she got texts for her delivery and I don't, or she doesn't get texts for me. I don't know why, it's so bizarre. Animal filth. Uh, do we have a, a missing piece of uh, flooring? Oh, that just went away, okay. Might have just been a slightly buggy message. So we shouldn't get animal filth message over here. I don't know why we have blood. Blood of final sight. Did we butcher something over here? Probably. Oh, I think I still have a roof over this area here, which I guess is fine. It's not Gladius. We all know it's Gladius. This is, this is, this is. Right, Gladius. This is, this is. Very important. All right, people eating our food. We have a little bit of food, which is okay. How's the wildlife situation? Sort for meat amount. We're still hunting some alpacas. Pikmin, Megmaster, Wymie, and Blissey. Don't hunt the tortoises. They just take way too long to kill. They are not worth it. And I'm still gonna hold off on the hydroponics for now. Oh, right, uh, what's the, th oh, auto doors. Let's add it to the queue. No. There. There. Mm -hmm. Also swimming pools. Well, I mean, we'll research everything. Was swimming pools actually in the list? Or are people just joking? Oh. Is there a monorail mod for RimWorld? You know, it wouldn't surprise me. Seems to be a mod for everything when it comes to RimWorld. All right, work on those doormats, which is gonna be really good to help keep uh, things a little bit cleaner. I'm like regretting some of my like extra doors in these rooms. It's great for moving around. All right, irrigation is done. So. Irrigation sprinkler. Now it feels like we're playing, um, uh, not Harvest Moon, but the, the thing that's like Harvest Moon. Uh, waters the surrounding area once every morning to improve fertility of the soil throughout the day. It uses 100 liters each morning at max radius. Stardew Valley, thank you. Let's put a couple of these down. Now, that's just irrigation, but it does say... Something about it said sprinkler, or it could use fertilizer, unless it's something different. Oh, fertilizer area. Does need area fertilized with biosoils. Okay. Is that under hygiene? That is. Okay. Add area. All right, let's wait on that. Let's get these sprinklers down first. No monorail mod on Steam. Well, I am disappointed. Someone get on that. It's very important. Okay, we keep seeing, I keep seeing uh, idle colonists. Oh, psychic like soothe mail, nice. I keep seeing this and I think I need to adjust something, but no, it's just our two uh, visitors who don't do any work. You're right, you can reorder the tech. I forgot about that. I should I could have done that easier without the electronics shift them. Anyway, otherwise I'm happy. We're gonna we're gonna set up keep the order in here. Playing Dwarf Fortress. Like the jewelry makes me think of playing Dwarf Fortress, which is nice. Alright, the styling station. Mm hmm Still gotta smooth out more floors here. Well, lots of things need to be smooth, but not gonna make it a priority quite yet. Looks like we could use a second light in here. Not that it really matters. People don't spend time in here, so the fact that they're in the dark doesn't really bother in the mood. The movement speed is impacted by the um, by the lighting, but 
I don't think in a significant way. Mostly I'm thinking about adding a second light in here because it would look better to me. And really, I'm the most important person in this game. So I'm going to go ahead and plan a light in this room. <laughs> Should dye everyone's helmet orange. Can we color steel helmets? First of all, this should be moved over here because then we have room for something else. So that would just be through the styling station. Right? Juna, now you're a million miles away. Just gonna wait until someone's nearby. There, right, Private Paula. Come over here. Change style. Apparel color. Which one's the most kind of orangey? There's not a really good orange color. And yeah, I saw that it uses dye, which we may or may not... There's not a good orange. Hmm. Thank you, Essentia. That's still so disappointing. Pink it is. I know the yellow is kind of okay. Mining helmet is a yellow. Yeah. White safety hats. That's true. Isn't that like the supervisor's hats color typically? Dye plants grow fast. We do have some dye plants going. Thanks for the sub. Is there Scott Butt? This should help. Ooh. First of all, mining helmet mods, and then there's this other mod to like add more dye colors. Mining helmet, mining co mining helmet, which equipped with a light. Oh, that sounds so cool. And then more colors mod. Okay. We'll keep that in mind going forward here. All right, we learned how to make jewelry. So this area here is kind of our, kind of our metal workshop. And I think the jewelry would make sense to add into there. So, oh wait, is it not a new workshop? Oh, they rang the doorbell. They hardly ever rang the doorbell. Hang on, I'm gonna get up and get the door. Paused, good, excellent. Chair cam, ready. The nutrient paste is here. Woohoo! So excite. Okay, where do we make the jewelry? Maybe art. Do we think art? Let's see. It's the chair's birthday, says Skate Rat. Nutrient paste, really? I thought it was supposed to be a treat. Well, this is, I mean, corporate approval for maximum, uh... Ooh, I got a flyer, too. For maximum nutrition. It's a Sudbury area advertiser. Oh my! Does anyone have a uh, chipped um, windshield? 
Apparently this one place can fix it fast. Get! Get! <laughs> oh, baby. Bam. Poots in. In all of its glory. That's good. All right. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's fine. So, Life of the Cookie is, is our puppy with dementia. Combat supplier. Oh, it's Barbara's ex-husband. <laughs> Who is Essentia Monica. Essentia Monica, the combat supplier, is the ex-husband of Barbara. For those of you keeping track at home. <laughs> yeah, Barbara's had, like, this is, she's had two relationships here. Etc. what have you been doing? <laughs> this won't be confusing at all. I love all the chat. Yo, yo, let's get this trade. <laughs> Should, uh... Tear these down at some point. Although it'll be it'll be forever before anyone gets it to there, because there's always construction jobs near. <laughs> Everyone's chit chatting. Choo choo! All right, let's get. Um, it won't be awkward. Let's have Borbra go and trade with Essential Monica. <laughs> hey, uh, it's not awkward at all. I don't know. Maybe maybe they broke up amicably, right? And it's like, oh my god, good to see you. You know. How's your new life treating you? Cool? I mean, it's too bad we had, like, you know, different goals in life. Some of us were required by the corporation to show up here. Okay. Um, we might want to buy more medicine. Let's consider purchasing medicine. I'm going to sell the, the garland seed. Even though we could use it to get some work dryads, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I want to just keep my peeps moving around. Uh, we're gonna sell these less good weapons. I'm gonna keep this one so I can equip it to one of our melee peeps. Um, I'll sell the crummier or more used up frag grenades. We still got two that are super high quality here. Maybe I'll sell this extra helmet. Is there anything we want to buy? I don't know that we do. I mean, there's some cool weapons, admittedly. Plasma sword! I'm not gonna spend that much money on plasma sword or plate armor. Or 6,000 bucks on prestige cataphrac armor? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, you know what? I'll sell the drugs. Yeah. I think this is probably going to be it. Trees aren't company policy. Yeah. Uh, what's the robotic matrix? So these are used to, um, to build robots. I think we'll be able to build these ourselves as well but they do take a lot of material, but that's kind of far in the future. It's gonna be great. We're gonna get little cleaning bots and hauling bots. Well, we don't need hauling bots because we got the dogs. Cleaning bots would be very handy though. It's whiskey and chocolate. Plasma swords are great for subduing prisoners. Um, sounds like it's good for cutting off body parts. Cappadona, thank you very much. Happy birthday, Quill. Love the content and keep it coming. Fun fact, you share your birthday with the King of Sweden. So hip hip hurrah. Do I really? That's actually really neat. <laughs> Ah, that's so cool. Can you do mining bots to replace all the workers? I think we can. It's been a while since I've used the robot mod. I can't remember what all the bots are. I usually prioritize the... Usually it's the, the cleaning, the hauling, and the cooking bots get prioritized. In this case, I definitely want a cleaning bot first. Because you can get the builder ones and stuff like that. But until you get the super high level versions, they're not very skilled. So the cleaning bots don't really matter. Oh, I missed, you think I missed whiskey and chocolate? Well, I did. No, I didn't. All in one, we read all the ones. And then Capadonna just now. And Private Paul before that. And that was an hour ago. I, I, th I think I'm okay. Although I've been known to screw things up pretty badly before. So my apologies if I did. Low level crafting bots useful for making bricks. That's true. Although I do have the mod that um, block crafting does use crafting skill. 
Um, you can gain skill from it, and it uses your skill to determine the speed of it. So um, the bot, a low skill bot would be quite slow at making the blocks, but it would keep making them forever, and that would be kind of nice. Quill is re related to the Swedish king by his birthright. I like it. I'm next in line for the throne. Pragmatic Thoth, Thoth. thank you very much for the gift subs. I missed your sub, Elsa. I'm sorry. Well, there's probably a few that have come in. Let's see. Uh, Nishara has resubbed for four months. Wim Wicked at 24 months. Elsa, 22 months. Same birthday as my grandma and the Swedish king. <laughs> Malaclips has resubbed for 64 months as well. Thank you very much over there. Coaster and only one resub for 10 months in addition to contributing to the whiskey and chocolate fun. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, gift subs, baby. We still have the Psychic Soothe, which is nice. You bring light and it's given birth. Aw, new little piglet. Aw. My brother called me today for his birthday, or for my birthday, and uh, he let me know that he's got a couple new piglets at his farm. Which is very cute. He is talking about eating them, but you know. <laughs> Other than that, it's really cute. Um, okay, so we're going to put Herbo Medicines in here. <laughs> There we go. Rim Factory Mod. Automatic Block Manufacturing. Oh, that's cool. I've never used that one. That is really neat. Fire? How did this fire start? Because private. this is not our private Paula. This is a random private Paula that came with the, the trading group. And apparently had a breakdown and is starting fires because they're a pyromaniac. The the evil doppel doppelpala, <laughs> oops, the doppelpala is over here starting fires. Let's home zone more of this so that uh, we keep putting out the fires. Remind me to unhome zone this later, please, so we don't clean this area. Pyropala, I like doppelpala. Oh, damn it. Could you could you stop there, Paula? Paula, please, Paula. Mad guinea pigs. Well, I've never seen a mad guinea pig, but you know. So we can't put out the fires right now. Oh, not Sir Dark Lord over here is one of the mad guinea pigs. Oh, go after, go after, um, go after the Doppelpala. Yes, take out Doppelpala. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, Skaverat, we need to give you a melee weapon too, and we clearly have one. So go ahead and equip that, please. <laughs> it's gone mad because of all the fire. Yeah, they're like environmentalist guinea pigs. They're eco-terrorists. Doppelganger Paula is losing eyes now. Quest available. Deadly tortoises? Trader calling. Pack of 10 wild tortoises are hunting him. He wants your help to draw the animals away from him. Here's the thing. Like, tortoises don't seem that dangerous, but they are so hard to kill. Masterwork sniper rifle, plasteel, or the recon. I mean, we're, we're saying yes to this. For what? I think for the sniper rifle and the plasteel. Me angry, want holy hand grenade. Oh my god, more guinea pigs. Hold on. <laughs> Masterwork sniper rifle. Uh, oh, there's a, there was a lot of these guinea pigs. Wow. Private Paul is down and on fire. Well, that's your own damn fault. All right, the traps are gonna keep taking out these guinea pigs. I think that was the last of them. Okay, can unrecruit everyone. Let's put out these fires, and then we'll accept the quest for the uh, for the tortoises. Hold on. If Private Paula dies, we probably get a mood debuff. Or not, a relationship debuff. Even though it's not our fault. I think we get goodwill if we help her. Should rescue? Yeah. Let's rescue. I think we're going to get this incendiary launcher, though. It's amazing they gave a pyromaniac an incendiary launcher. It's whiskey and chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate. Hold on one sec. Just make sure. Okay. Just want to make sure the home zone really did cover everything here. Bitter Ashes! Thank you, Bitter! 
Happy birthday, Quill. It's my birthday tomorrow. Well, a little uh, May Day, baby. <laughs> First of May makes me think of the um, TF2 Pyro. <laughs> makes me think of the uh, the Joko song, Jonathan Colton song. So I don't think uh, I don't think any of the guinea pigs. I think it was a psychic wave, so they didn't actually have the disease. So we're gonna be able to uh, butcher all these guinea pigs. Not a ton of meat on them, but hey, it's free. Okay, now we can reset the home zone that the fire is out. Okay. Um, how long do we have for this quest? Okay, one day. Attending meeting. What are you doing, three? Consuming a meal. Okay, after you're done the meal, come over here and let's try to reset some of these traps, please. Jay? Okay, you're done your thing. After you're done that, come over here. No, no, not clean blood. Work on the trap. Hang on, I'll reset you. There we go. Work on trap. And then that one. Thanks. Carpet making. Yep, deadly tortoise is expiring soon. Trappy trap trap. Oh, well, we don't actually care about converting those, but we did put on. It, it may not have been necessary, but we did put on the um, uh, the proselytizing meme. We are marketing. You know, we're turning to re just recruiters from the mining company and also marketing it. Okay, we're gonna let people go through a sleep cycle here, and then we're gonna accept the quest. There is more stone. We kept going back and forth. I originally set up stone traps, and then I changed it to steel. We're gonna keep the steel traps. They do do more damage. They're also a little easier to set up because carrying stuff out here is lighter. But I am going to convert my steel walls to more stone walls, even though I like the steel. But I guess the steel or the, the stone walls are actually stronger. So yeah, we're just gonna let the sleep cycle finish, and then we're gonna accept the the, the turtle, the turtle. Uh, right, there is an unfinished one over here. It's less critical this one here, because it's not guaranteed to be triggered depending on where the tortoise has come from. Yes, we did reset the home zone, but thank you for checking. Four a.m. I am on speed three. It doesn't feel very fast. Five a.m. People are starting to get up. All right, let's go now before our police runs out here. Uh, we're gonna go for the sniper rifle quest. And oh, you're not going outside. You're just going here. I guess they haven't shown up yet. It's whiskey. They were supposed to show up quite quick. I think. There you go. Manhunter pack of tortoises. Dun dun dun! Hey, Bale. Thank you. Uh, oh, let me go and check the full quest here. The text. Happy birthday, Quill. Thank you for the entertainment all those years. I've been watching since before the first City Skylines videos. A side note, the stone storage is full. I know. They cannot transport the stones away anyway. That is true. I'm not concerned about increasing the size of the storage, though, because we are we are processing the rocks. I'm like, you know what? It's, it's okay. I don't think we're smelting down the slag chunks. We could start doing that soon. Yeah, because I know we've got all the stone flagged, and it's not actually doing anything, but... That's okay. Anyway, at least Juno's got a bed again. That's nice. All right, so yeah, who do we got? We got uh, Plain Coast Hills, Devo Dav Tormen, Zynthia, Animal Crid, Generic Tortoise. Some of these haven't been named yet. Esoteric Fish. Uh, what is that? Mbninter. Heroes in a Half Shell. Turtle Power. Recruit. Get over here. I need to extend my uh, little defensive structure now. Cancel that, and then deconstruct this a little bit. The ones with uh, the knives can just sit back a little bit here for a sec. Gosh, they're slow. Who would have thought? First, I was an angry hamster. Now to get reincarnated as an angry turtle. 
Woo! So slow! Yeah, there we go. Meliers in the back ranks. Cyclovex get up front. We have turrets as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that the sound of an angry turtle? For those of you wondering? Animal restrictions. That's a good point. Right now we're okay. Wait, where are they going? Do I have an animal out there? What are they going for? I'm gonna try to smash their way through this door. Okay, here they're coming back. That was weird. They're flanking us! Turtles would be terrifying if they move fast. It's one down. Oh good, those traps are, are working. That's good, because these things can be so hard to kill. Low food. Well, apparently we're going to get turtle soup back on the menu. That one took out two traps. KG makes it through the gauntlet. Die. 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 <laughs> Die. Oh my god. Like the Terminator. It's the, the turtle later. Is that the last one? Nope, there's a couple more over here. Although they're not really in a hurry to get to the front. Don't forget to farm if you can spare the labor. Railo tubs, die, die. Yeah, we could extend the wall out here. Most of this is for enemies that come from the south and go around the corner. It's not a big deal. Oh, Skaverat wants to change their look. All right. And then we need, uh, what is that, Chinese chipmunk? The turtle. Sure, that totally makes sense. And we'll let Skaverat change the look on their own. We've got the styling station set up, so they're going to be fine. There we go. All right. Looks like most of these rotted instantly from the Scaria. I don't know if, well, we've got some turtles. Pod's rival, yes! So, our hunter should probably have the sniper rifle. So that's April Lease. We want her to hunt at maximum range because that affects the um, the aggro chance. And she's got an 11. She's not passionate for it, but that's a pretty good skill as is. So we got that, we got the Plasteel, and we got we got something else out of it, I don't remember. Quill almost looks like a turtle with a hard hat on. Yeah! I'm gonna have another bite of patin. It's not as good when it gets cold, but it actually is not terrible. It, it can reheat okay. Hmm. Oh, I got a steel bed. Thank you. That was it. Masterwork. Steel slab double bed. Steel slab double bed? Slab beds are uncomfortable, but some see their use as a demonstration of moral good. Wide enough to fit two people. Mother. An engraving of the furniture represents a squid wearing a hat. A sardine lies near the edge of the image. We might just sell this one. For it's the pain is virtue meme. Right. Yeah, I see. That makes sense. Yeah, we'll probably just sell it for a few bucks. But the Master Reich Sniper Rifle, and actually the Plasteel is a big deal. Because we needed the Plasteel to be able to complete this. I think they delivered it in order, so the gold never got delivered because they were waiting for the Plasteel. Robot Trader. Robot Trade Ship. That's a lot of steel for three turtles. Yeah, but it was for the masterwork stuff, right? But yes, it cost a lot. Wish we had some money. Because it would be great to buy these. We could buy the base station. Because that'll be ready for later. Good price on the steel. I mean, we're not really looking to buy steel, right? We're looking to sell steel. We do have 2,600 steel currently. 
I like the idea of selling the chem fuel. Probably we just buy a bunch of components. Yeah, I think we just do this. Oh, the robot comes with it. Oh, yeah. All right, misinterpreted that. Excellent, done. Thank you for spotting that. I thought it was a component, but no, of course it's not. Uh, where'd I get dumped? Over here. So we can install this somewhere. Doesn't matter where we install it. Somewhere kind of centered, because it is going to have to go there to recharge. You know what? I can carve out the uh, corners of our stockpiles and use those as the robot base stations. I like that. We could buy two, but then we would have a little bit of a hard time with the money. Um, Juna, please come over here and mine this out for me. Where the hell were you? You're probably mining some steel that was way out in the middle of nowhere. Thanks. Install. And activate. Cleaning bot, go! Just have to make sure to recall it if we get raided. Because they have a tendency of getting shot. Wait, can I literally drive this thing? That's amazing. <laughs> can you name it? It looks like the answer is no. I can't name the bot. It can leave the room, yeah. What well, should. I mean, admittedly, I haven't played with this mod in a while, but it should leave the room once it's done cleaning it. There it goes. Can restrict it. Oh, right, because there's the robot controls. I don't think this used to exist before. We have a so-called safe zone. which is accurately named. Wow, as safe as anything can be. So we're gonna restrict, oh, hold on, I can rename it over here. Yes! Ho 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 Um, what do I wanna name it? Cause it can't get auto named. It doesn't look like. What are we gonna name the cleaning bot? I don't have the hashtag name draw running. <laughs> Cleanbot2000. Oh, <laughs> based on the truth stream. Well, I mean, tons of people sent in tons of things today. I already have a why me. I, I kind of don't want to be a name from chat because people are going to be named after the bot all the time. Name it puts in. Puts in bot 3000. There it is. Or 300, because apparently I ran out of tech, uh, um, um, characters. Right, Putin bought 300. Gonna go to work. Well, actually, you know what? Putin bought 3,000. That does sound better. There, like that. Boom. Marvin. There you go. Pain in all my diodes down the left side of my body. Does anyone care? No. Um, Suchin, why are you so cranky? Darkness. Well, yeah, there's a lot of darkness all over the place. Eight without a table. There's tons of tables! Awful bedroom. Well, that's fairly accurate. Hope it'll get clean soon. I'll put a hall urgently on here. I don't think there's any room for it right now, but... Yeah, no storage space. Maybe I'll just expand the space so that's got that. Um, let's do the layouts fairly similar to the other one. Actually, yeah. End table. Oh, wait. Cancel. End table with the lamp, which I like. Wooden dresser right over here. And I think I kind of like my bathroom layouts from before. So fairly similar. And I was getting them uh, these tile racks. 
which do, yeah, the steel towel rail does heat the room, or it's got the radiator usage thing anyway. We'll put it there, plus everyone wants a warm tile. But more ambrosia sprouts, we're getting lots of those. <laughs> add a mod to have, add personal tables to people, that's funny. So they just carry tables with them. Boots in, bought 3,000, go! Look at it clean, yes! Pocket table, best invention. <laughs> okay, um, let's just increase this a little bit. Just so we get rid of that message there of the high priority hall. Okay, did my sprinklers get put in? Yes. Okay, that's max radius. You can create a growing zone around it, which would be really smart. We're not going to do that. Okay, so that is the extent of that, but... I can go fertilize area. What's the priority of fertilize? There. If we've got any fertilizer, let's use it on the corn. Heel root, cotton. Actually, the cotton wouldn't be a bad... Uh, just the corn. We want to make sure that the food supply is consistent here. Let's get that in place. Food is very low. Holy crap. Wait, we really don't have anything good to hunt? Shit. We were going to go hydroponics. I guess we've got our steel now. All right, let's... um. Oh, I never... Apparently I disallowed the plumbing here. Okay. Get that plumbing done, please. Okay, let's get the hydroponics started. <clears throat> it's going to use a lot of material, but then we really won't have to worry about food. That's nice. Now it'll default to rice, which again is going to have to be fine. We don't really do the Nutrifungus. Potato plant don't benefit from the um, the fertility. We could do some strawberries just to mix it up. Yeah, but it only has 70%. Oh no, 100% sensitivity. Okay. Because yeah, the rice is 100% sensitive. The potatoes is less sensitive, so it doesn't benefit. But we could throw some strawberries in here. What's their growing period? 4.6 days. Now, I think the rice gives you more nutrition. Um, 0.18 and 3 days. 0.20. Yeah, so I think we get less nutrition per plot from the strawberry plants. They don't have to be processed as often. Food gives a mood... Eating fruit gives a mood buff? Does it give a good mood buff with the strawberries? Here, I'll get a few, I'll get a couple of strawberry things set up, just to add some variety. But then most of it I'll leave to rice. This will keep our farmers really busy because they do process very quickly. And yeah, we we do have some hop plants. We uh, this will be good for maybe Devil Strand later too because Devil Strand takes a long time to grow. And the last thing you want is for it to like randomly die out because of a weather event when it's nearly done. Out of door tech. Okay, before we enable the auto doors, let's do a little save here. Again, complaint that it doesn't actually, like, send you anywhere or filter the list. Fluffy breakdowns. We want this. So this replaces the breakdown mechanics with a maintenance requirement. It needs a little bit more labor, but prevents things from breaking down and eating a component, which can be really annoying. And basically, like, I love the idea of auto-basing my base, or auto-dooring my whole base, but then the break, the random breakdowns just eat all of your components in a way that feels pretty ridiculous. Confirmed, I ate strawberry and got a mood plus free. There you go. 
And yes, I, I should just run the, I do have the mod subscribed for the mod thing, but I actually, I find it mostly cumbersome, the, the mod manager, except for this one filter function. Otherwise, that's all I want. But yeah, I have the mod menu mod. It's just not on. Mmm, so good. <laughs> Where's your chilies? Next run, not this run, I think. Next run, I think we'll add a lot more of the like the farming crop mods, the VGP or whatever, the vault vegetable garden, the so-called vegetable garden mod set. Artist table is uh oh, it's done. Yeah, there's the jewelry. Okay. Then we make bracelets, earrings, and necklaces, and rings. Beauty, social impact. And is the silver the same thing, just less strong? Oh, it's the same. Plus one, five percent. What about the earrings? Oh, not only social impact, but also trade price. And the necklace? More so. And just social impact, not beauty. The hell's a terror sculpture? I think it's for certain ideologies to look spooky. Threatening form. Slaves who spend time around it will feel terror. Makes them stay suppressed for longer and thus reduces slave rebellions. Company necklaces for all employees. No, they're not slave. Oh, I like that. So they made me out of gold. We don't have a ton of gold. And they do get used for, it does get used for some construction. Not much, but some. Oh. And we got a ship chunk over there. Just the one. Okay. Um, silver is, in a sense, a renewable resource because we can sell things for silver. We have several jewelry. Yeah, yo, no, I, I realize that. I just wanted to know if there was like unique things. But ideally, Borbra, who's our prime socializer, um, and I guess Jay as well, with the convert and whatnot, which speaking of, can we ritual? Okay. Now I believe that if you use the convert thing, you can't do the ritual, but there's three days for the ritual to be full up. You can apparently do the ritual earlier, but there's gonna be a big malice. So we're gonna wanna wait. So it feels to me what I should do is I should use Jay's convert ability on Cyclovex now. Certainty reduction, 22%. Um, Did I add something that adds more modifiers here? Or was that always there? Top hat, ladies hat gives social benefit as well. Yeah, but I think we're gonna keep the helmets. Although there is something to be said about the, you know, the boss person have something else, but yeah. We're going to, I wonder if I should just make a new outfit. Thinking the anything outfit will take the jewelry off. And then, yeah, I guess make a, a new outfit. You can't clone an outfit, right? Although by default, I guess they have everything turned on. Okay, if I switch, does anything have anything turned off other than this? Painted approval. And what I can do is just for the anything outfit, I can turn off anything like just to prevent people from wearing something that I want my socializers to wear by default. There might like, I could turn off top hats and stuff, for example, right? If I were gonna do something like that. For now, I'm just gonna set JLAS and Barbara to have the social outfit and we'll start making some silver jewelry. Silver bracelet. Needs crafting and artistic. Okay, well, yeah, I was gonna say we'll get a bunch of those. Bracelet next likes earring. I wonder if they wear two earrings. I'm betting earring is just the one slot. 
So we're going to make a pair of each one of these. Oops. And then we'll also put the large sculpture job here, which is not going to use diamond, ruby, sapphire, or steel. Just going to be wood or stone blocks. I don't really care which one it uses. This can be a do forever. And then when we get people with higher artistic skill, I can put another job in here that uses the fancier material, but let's not worry about it for now. So we'd like someone who's both artistic and crafty to start practicing these traits. So Jay and Peter Entwist will both have art. Now, Peter is a cook, Jay's a constructor. That's, that's rough, buddy. Private Paula conceivably, like she could art, like she could get herself to a five, but she doesn't have the crafting perk. Can you make wood earrings? What? No, that wasn't the thing, was it? No. Thanks. So really, Jay or Pent Peter, I'm wondering about Peter. We do have a second cook. Scave Rat can cook now. He's only at a two. But that's fine. Oh, but Peter doesn't have crafting passion. Oh, shit. We don't have anyone with both art and craft. What about Cyclovex? He's good at crafting. He doesn't have the art, but maybe... I mean, I guess it's not a big whiskey and chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate. I guess it's not a big deal if we just have this person grind out five levels of art. Thank you, Bale. Sabat support the idea of worker necklaces. Let them all know who owns them with pride. I, I do kind of like the vibe that you guys are going for. I think here's the thing: Jay with his construction's got to stay there. Cyclovex probably is the best person. We'll just grind out five levels of art and then have them just focus on like crafting duties from that point on. So we're just gonna put the art at a two right now. Once they get to level five, I'll probably, I, I, I don't know how, hmm. this probably has to be still turned on so you do it, but we could lower the priority or something. I don't know. We'll get some shitty statues early on. That's gonna be okay. I'm going to make a dedicated storage for this. Um, I'm going to shrink a zone uh, right there. I'm going to make a new stockpile zone. Clear all. Critical priority for art, which I suppose I could have searched for. There it is. But I was going to say the art actually has like multiple little things over here. All the different. I guess I could have searched for sculpture. There we go. But yeah, so any sculptures we get will end up over here and then we can start deploying them or selling them or whatever. Sometimes I put a quality filter on this. Right now I won't, I'm just gonna allow all of it. Cause even like a crummy st sculpture will still improve somewhere where we put it. I suppose we could do the small sculptures first. Yeah, that's not a terrible idea. Cause it's probably, well, here's the thing. I don't think it matters whether we make small or large. Fifty for three hundred. Okay, actually, the small sculptures would be better for training, because you you train at a constant rate. It's the work you're doing. It. It's not completing a job that doesn't. So we don't care if it's a sh if it's a fast task or a really slow task when it comes to g generating XP. Um, the statue, the large statue, uses twice as much material as the small statue, but it doesn't take twice as much time. So. Effectively, with a small sculpture, we get more training time per material. So I'm going to have it finish the large sculpture, but then I'm going to put a do forever small sculpture job over here because it'll use less material um, for the XP. More waste material failure. I suppose that's true too, potentially. But yeah, we'll get the small. I'll just finish the one large and then we'll do the small and that'll be okay. <gasps> Set material. Thank you. Wood or stone blocks, either one is okay. 
Maybe preferably wood, honestly, since it's more renewable, but we... But stone kind of makes a lot of sense, too. All right. Oh, Jay's on a work frenzy. Nice. That's very handy. So, in our mod options, we probably have the fluffy breakdowns, and we can set different things. But yeah, so now these various objects will need to be maintained from time to time um, with the construction job. But as long as we get to them early enough, they won't require a component. So I think it adds a lot more labor, but uses up less components. What's that area? What? With this area? This is for our statues. Maybe it means something else, though. Sorry. All right, these guys are still chilling. Ooh, research is going quite quickly. Um, let's get maybe manufacturing, because this is where we start to make components, yeah? Oh no, these are, oh, this is unlocking larger tables for us. Oh, let's, um, advanced fabrication. There we go. Advanced components. Fabrication over here. Yeah, let's queue these up. Fabrication, then advanced fabrication, so we can start making sure we've got components. And then we might go into robotics at that point. Let me just add it to the queue. We can consider something like that. What's a fluffy breakdown when your workers go into a maid coffee shop? I don't know what that means, and I feel like I shouldn't know what that means. Uh, two days for the conversion ritual, which we'll be using on Cyclov X. How's your certainty there, Cyclovex? Oh, it's quite high. You're in a good mood, so it's boosting back really quickly. Oh. What are we talking about? We're talking about Alpha Centauri 2? Oh, geez, that would be great. That would be lovely. Oh, yeah, day-night cycle. I'm like, why is it so dark in here? Because the sun lamp has a day-night cycle. Can't see. Right now, just because the food situation's not great, I'm gonna let these guys stay onto food production for now. Okay, we still have tons of power, that's good. Although I guess this when the sunlight goes on, it's gonna eat a lot, but it's still okay. Um, yeah, so I mean it's called Research Research Pal, I think, mindless games. But yeah, if you check the mod list. It's called Research Something. I think it's Research Pal Plus or Research Pal Continued or something. It'll be really obvious in the mod list. Yeah, I think I might put a wall light in here just because it'll look better for us. Technically, the people who are in here working, I think might benefit from the increased work speed as well, like the planters. But mostly it's just because it's going to look better for us. Could you prioritize that, please? Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, if we kept Cyclovex more miserable, then he wouldn't regain his uh, um, uh, certainty the same way. In theory, our people are constantly trying to talk to him and convert things over. Oh, yeah, these are not private bathrooms. I forgot about that. Link bed. Link bed. Yeah, they were really unhappy about doing that. And it does link the rest of the furniture. I do like that. That's very smart. There's a public restroom over here. I guess there's not a public shower. So people who don't have a bathroom would link to themselves can't shower. And yeah, we, we talked about it earlier. Lowering someone's mood does not lower their certainty. It just lowers the speed at which they regain certainty. Which, I mean, in a, in a sense, leads to the same final thing in that people with lower moods are easier to convert in the end. But it's not exactly the same. Okay, so I still want to do this. This row here is all going to be... Um, strawberry plants for now, just for variety. Everything else we're going to leave to rice right now, just until our food situation is stabilized. But they're going to be switched over to some other crops later on. But yeah, the volcanic winter is still messing with our growth rates outside. Wow, this cotton plant is at 118. This irrigation is insane! And then this place over here, yeah, 127. Because it has 176% fertility, because we are using our bio-waste over here. Well, now... I kind of wish we didn't have the sewage treatment plant. 
because this just cleans sewage. This just gets rid of the sewage. Now I'm like, hold on, we got to keep all of our poop around. And we probably should build public. So the idea over here is this was going to be converted into a public um, washroom once we hospitalize this. And I do have hospital beds now. Okay, let's plan the hospital room. All right, we have medical beds. Squint mode engaged right here. Cool. And we'll do another block like this. Maybe up against the wall here. I mean, they could be a little closer together, but... I don't know. Kind of spacious. Kind of cool. I mean, we don't need this many. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, forbid these so they don't get built. You know, five beds is a lot. And yeah, they do use a lot of components. That is true. Maybe we should wait until we get our component production running. Yeah, apparently we don't need monitors for every bed. Apparently one monitor here will work on all the beds. I could center it up a little bit so people can walk behind. I don't think it's required. We do have a lot of pawns, but I mean, if 10 of them are in a hospital beds, something horribly bad has gone, has happened, which is fairly likely that it's going to happen at some point. But yeah, I think five meta beds is going to be plenty. Wasn't I going to do the widescreen TV? Although this one tube television is going to cover all of those. That's nice. It does look nice to have a monitor for each bed, but at the same time, this is kind of cool. So I'm going to do this because it's a different layout than what I normally do. Normally I have a monitor each for each bed. Sammy Shaka supplies. Shield belt. Unknown threat. I don't think I care about that. But maybe I put the public washroom more over here. Well, I mean, we can. Our, the rest of the beds, if the medical beds are all used up, people will go to their normal beds. The only disadvantage is it's going to be a little further away from the medicine, but that's not really an issue. Uh, the set qual build quality is on by default, where only the best constructor will finish these um, uh, and should give us the highest quality, I think. So, I think what we do, and I'm going to make steel out of doors just because. I mean, we could even we could even do this. I don't know if there's much point in that. This technically gives us room for maybe an extra couple of beds. We'll be able to get freezers in here. So I'm going to keep the bed construction disabled for now, but we'll get everything else ready. Yeah, shelf on the side. Um, a shelf and a refrigerator. A refrigerator for the herbal meds and a shelf for the actual medicine, which we could probably just go and move um, this. So I'm not going to build it now, but there's going to be room back here for those. And yeah, shower near the hospital does make a lot of sense, doesn't it? Why am I not, uh, there it is. Because I was looking in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. Once this is up or smooth or whatever, we'll put some lights in here as well. And then we could put the, wa the public washroom on the other side make a two by two stall for the handicap. That is so nice to think about. Could do that. Uh, use the stall doors. I mean, it depends on whether or not we're going to have this be a room. I guess we can. 
Because the, uh, the the stall doors gives you privacy, but doesn't split it into a separate room. Or heat loss. I guess that's okay. How did... Okay. And I'll just do that. Stall doors, you can heat the whole room. Right. Okay. So then... Let's assume we're going to end up with something kind of like this. Um, and yeah, this is going to be a high traffic area, so we're going to get um, we're going to get another auto door over here, which is in this category. Steel auto door lined up that way. And you heat this, and then we can have toilet stalls and then some sinks in here as well. I guess the only downside with this is, in theory, there might be some through traffic in here that might disturb the people in the hospital beds, but. Make the stall doors out of ruby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can place down the, the, the mats right now. That's a great point. Just under miscellaneous, isn't it? Yeah. Store mat. Out of cloth. There we are. Because this whole area should be pretty clean. So as long as there's a doormat here, that's going to do the job. Well... That's actually only true until we smooth out the rest. Maybe I'll put a doormat over here as well for now. Later on, it probably won't be necessary. Jewel bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be great. Oh, J oh, that's right. I keep seeing them get naked for a second. I'm not never sure why. It's because they were showering. Okay. Here, maintain. Ah, see, maintenance. Yeah, so there's a maintenance percentage over there. Gotta get topped off. So that's gonna keep Jay very busy. Maintaining geothermal generator. Yeah, maintenance dropping down. We could tweak the rate. If they if they spend too much time doing maintenance stuff, then we might just change the rate a little bit. Either that or we gotta get more constructors in here. But we only have two people with passion. So. If we get a construction bot, that's what it's gonna be perfect for. Just doing maintenance. Ceramic tile floor in the public bathroom is not an option. We can just put sterile tiles in here. It doesn't really matter. We do we do have basically two full times. I know the priority is only a three, but three's priority for construction of three is ahead of everything else that's also a three for three. Makes sense, right? This area doesn't have... Oh, no, it does have refrigeration over here. I mean, it's not much cooling for this entire area. But it hopefully will be fine. We might have to add a second cooler later on. But yeah, everything here is interconnected. We could probably get rid of one of these heaters. In fact, let me reinstall this heater here. Into one of these two rooms. Corner. I don't know where we're going to want. So let's just start figuring that out. You know what I just realized? Since I can deconstruct things and get everything back, because I was going to move this stuff, but with the, the the tweak mod, we can we can get everything back. So I can pre-place these things, like the shelving and stuff. Um, we could make metal shelves, and I kind of feel like I'm going to do that. That's for the medicine. But then we're also going to have... Um, a refrigerator for herbal meds right there so oops so i think i'm gonna move this heater to here and then yeah we'll just have a vent connect these two rooms and then we can have the cooler on this side oh shit i'm out of water oh because of the sprinklers ah, thank you okay first of all i'm going to increase our storage I wonder if you want, you probably want to over, avoid overlap with your pumps, eh? Yep. Yeah. Oh, the uh, propeller. The propeller. The wind turbine. Now, okay, these can pump about 3,000 liters each. 
the, or well, uh, what is this called? That's the well. And this thing, oh, okay. So actually we're not using, taking all the water of the well we can. We are actually limited by the pump right now. Now I know I can make them face each other and we probably will. So this theoretically will be 6,000 pumping. So I actually don't need to prioritize the wells, although frick it, I'm gonna do it anyway. But really the short-term thing is you work on this pump and then three work on this well and then the piping afterwards. Yeah, it is a propeller, I suppose. There's a prop on the turbine, that's true. There you go, this is refilling. Yeah, it's the sprinklers. They take a thousand uh, water in the morning. And how much does the uh, tower store? What's its max storage? I don't know, just filling. Pipe to pump ground capacity. But yeah, I don't know how much the, uh, the tower itself can hold. But anyway, this should resolve the issue. You need a lot of water stored if you want a swimming pool. <laughs> um... I don't know, that's a good question. Yeah, they do, they touch each other and that auto connects them, great. And then this well over here is getting connected by these pipes. So as soon as it's done that, we'll need to make sure that gets done right over here. At least right now we're getting, we should be getting the full capacity out of this one well now. There we go, three. I'm gonna make sure you are prioritizing that there. So we get the second well connected. There we go. And then there's a third pump and a third well that's coming soon and then more storage as well which should help buffer for the mornings here stealth conversion going down a little oh is it time for the ritual zero days we could do it now we'd get almost no malice three percent but may as well wait for it to go away completely chuka 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 And yeah, so we're we're spending we're gonna spend a lot of time on this, but we should have a fairly oh shit. Cyclovex has sensory mechanics. No, oh they're gonna feel miserable all the time. It does boost sight, hearing, and talking and manipulation, but they get tired a lot and they're gonna be in pain all the time. So they're gonna need constant treatment. Eventually this gets cured, but it's a long, long, slow process. Yeah, I don't know if you can make fire sprinklers. Oh, caravan, war merchants. Ooh. Okay. Fire him. <laughs> yeah, we, our medical plan does not care uh, cover um, sensory mechanites. <laughs> yeah, so we do have a spare bed because we want the prisoner bed soon. I suppose I should plan um, you know what? Hang on. Let's reinstall this bed over here. I know these aren't connected yet. We're still waiting for smoothing. But we're also going to... Get more of this ready to go for later. Alright, Borbra, where's the, where's the caravan? It's coming. You make fire sprinklers in Mila. I mean, sprinkle water and everything. Sprinkle water and fire, not fire and everything. Because I know you can make um, the uh, fire poppers. Fire foam, fire suppression. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, trade window. Um, wouldn't be bad to sell the older boomalope, but they're pregnant right now, so we're not going to do that because we don't need a ton of boomalopes around. Sell that. I don't think I like the idea of the incendiary launcher. I'm just going to get rid of it. There 
Yeah, we'll sell the sculptures, that's fine. Is there anything we wanna buy from you? Don't have components for us. We don't need herbal meds. We actually have way too much herbal meds. Let's sell like 50 of these. Although you don't have enough silver for that. There we go. Let's just take all their money. Done. I don't think they had advanced components. I think I could sell advanced components. I don't think they had any. Did they? So yeah, we still have the stupid volcanic winter. But again, some food was still coming in there and now we've got this. So I think we should be okay. In fact, we might end up with too much food, in which case that's all right. Let's check. Borber's asleep. So let's have Jay last talk to Futini to Decay because they're not bad either. No, they're probably because of the herbal medicine, it looked like maybe like, you know, wasn't aligned, but yeah, they don't have components for us, unfortunately. But yeah, keep an eye out for that because we definitely want to buy components when we can. I'm gonna have a bite of some congealed puts in here. I like how my entire meal for the day has now been sorted. Didn't have breakfast, but this has like all the food I'm gonna need for the entire day. Mm. Still good. I've never visited these like logging sites and stuff. Mm -hmm. Putin's a meal for a week, yeah. And we have some leftover sushi, but I guess Ascension and A Kiss for Luck will be able to eat that. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't have a leftover like sushi. We don't have leftover fish. We have some leftover tempura which we can put in the air fryer and uh, give it a second life. <laughs> Mostly for raiders. Yeah, I guess that's true. We could run a raider colony one day that like tries not to produce much and then just goes out for war. Seems like a good way to get all our colonists killed, but you know. Jay, what are you up to? Oh, you're doing something now. You're going to go do a meeting. Three, what are you up to? Three actually probably spent, oh yeah, see, it's all the maintenance. Three probably spends more time doing construction than Jay, because Jay keeps having to do these meetings. Let me just check here. I'm pretty sure this is boosting their maintenance. Yeah, so they are gaining construction skill doing this. I might, I think I'm gonna go and nerf the maintenance. I think it's too much right now. So this is when they go and do the maintenance. We wanna leave that at 70. We want to, I'm going to double the lifetime. I'm going to double the lifetime because they seem to have to do maintenance like non-stop over here. Nothing's, do like fixing things. Nothing's actually being constructed, which isn't great. The idle colonists is just these two visitors over here who can't do work for us, but it still gives us the warning about them being idle, which is annoying. What is Stealth even doing? Wandering. Um, that's one hell of a wander. <laughs> yeah, they're just guests. Lowering the threshold helps a lot with maintenance. I guess that's true. I guess if, um, because they have to walk all the way there. Yeah, you're right. If we change the threshold, I mean, effectively, they're going to have to maintain each thing just as often, but they won't spend as much time interrupting everything else to go and do it. When they walk somewhere, they're going to go and do a, like, they're going to do more at once. So we'll, we'll put it at 50. So it'll be, they'll take, I mean, so they're going to spend longer doing the actual maintenance each time, but they'll go and do the maintenance less often. It'll just feel a lot less dumb. Yeah, I like it. Double bed, no, oh, because it's being moved. So the April lease will take over this bed, which is going to be fine. Washing the steel basin. Mm-hmm. Building bridge. What? Building bridge building. I guess the um, the hygiene mod. Oh, were you having to? Were you auto building a bridge over some some terrain to make this work? 
I didn't realize it would auto build the bridge to support these. Well, that's quite cool. I know the public showers aren't connected yet. This has to be smooth in the back here. Oh, hold on, the ritual. Barbara's awake, good. Uh, not Private Paula, it's Cyclovex. Now, I think on a Masterful, I think it's an instant conversion. So there's a one in five chance we'll get an instant conversion. and But overall, a pretty good chance that we're going to move Cyclovex in the correct direction. Maybe do a mass mining smoothing job. That's not a terrible idea. Just catch up on the jobs. Masterful conversion! Old beliefs seem to dissolve effortlessly and inevitably, and our true knowledge was accepted. Cyclovex is now part of the Petra Industrial Exploitations, um, well, ideology, but has basically finally signed their work contract properly. Huge success! Now we just gotta flip over uh, Private Paula. Not a cult. No, it's, it's a pyramid scheme. And yeah, I haven't set the um, uh, the allocation of these yet, and that's okay. Oh, I actually only came out normal instead of good too, so it's going to get reconstructed soon. Jay, what are you up to? You're going to shower? Okay. You didn't wash your hands after going to the bathroom. Damn it, Jay. You need to use a toilet and then shower. Much more efficient. Come on. Think, Jay. Let's get some lights in here. Um, furniture, wall light. Or you really want to save time, poop in the shower. <laughs> ah! Ah! So I don't remember if smoothing is a mining job. I think, is it a construction job? Yeah, low priority. Let's, let's go... Let's go spam out the construction job. I think I do like that idea. We'll get everyone going on on that. Oh yeah, and the ceiling fan. You know what? That's an excellent point. I th is that under hygiene? Or do we have to unlock it? I thought I did unlock it. Oh. Ceiling fan. Does it have a light though? It includes built-in lamp. Yeah. can't actually center it in these rooms, which is a little annoying, but yeah, because it helps cool the room and it's got the lighting. Good thing there's a search box here. Oh, I didn't get the fire phone. I got the, um, I got the, the fire sprinkler. So I can't put it where the lamp is, but I can put it adjacent. Still gonna cover everything. <laughs> Mental breakdown, couldn't center a building. I mean, it's pretty upsetting, not gonna lie. So we might see a little bit of wasted material as the less skilled laborers um, try to construct something. Um, but the thing that actually uses a quality, oh, we hit some flooring over here set to remove as well. The, malaria, scave rat. No. Yeah, go rest. Go hang out in the hospital. At least it's only one right now. It's like, now it's like, oh shit, I got to get the, uh, the proper medical stuff set up. Imperial ship crashed 14 hours. Oh, defend. No. Yeah, this quest sucks. Insert standard quill rant about that quest. Sucks. If only you had something to prevent that. I know. But we didn't have enough of it. I mean, I guess we could have just started feeding it to people. If we get any, just start using it from now on. It's not a terrible idea. Um, in our drug policy, so everyone set the social drugs. What we do is we enable the schedule for this. And every five days. If we get any panoxiclin, go ahead and start using that every five days.
Uh, I believe the piano quest is these guys. They've got to finish their stay. It was 17 days. Um, active. Oh, here it is. Friends needing help. So, uh, shuttle arrives in 6.7 days, and then we'll get a harpsichord. What does drugs do? Depends on the drug, I suppose. Once we do get a smoke leaf going on, it's actually not a bad way to keep people's moods up. With the smoke leaf, it does give them a penalty to certain work. You might not want your doctor to be stoned all the time. Whoa, lovin'! Penguin Bulk and Gene the Dog! Ho oh, ho ho! I got the power! I got the plumbing. Oh, and then I also want plumbing back here because I'm going to have some toilets back here. So speaking of... More, more like players an architect, right? And I think I might put the sterile floor in here too. I don't think hygiene matters for the, this room. Well, it is listed as important for this room and it sort of makes sense. So I think I'm gonna sterile floor this entire thing over here. I'm just gonna wait for the walls to be up first. You know, maybe mass construction isn't a terrible idea. Well, we'll keep it going until all this area over here is smoothed anyway. This game was inspired by he. Yeah, RimWorld and Prison Architect. Literally, when this game came out, the uh, pawns looked exactly like the Prison Architect pawns um, it, with permission. The um, uh, Tynan, the creator of this... Oh, he's cranky because he got spotted because he's got no privacy. Um, at, had actually asked the uh, the people... Um, is it introversion? Introversion? I don't know. The the prison architect people. If it was cool, if he just copied their look during development before he got some proper art, and they said sure. So yeah, early RimWorld, the pawns looked exactly the same. And it was hilarious. Suits and tri. Wait. Is three three is not of our religion either? Forgot about that. No. Oh yeah, no. I, oh yes. Right. We need to get you to break. It's okay. We'll we'll just we'll come back to you. Get you to snap. Okay, we are going to floor, and very careful, I want to use sterile tiles, not silver. Even though they both start with an S, and they both use silver, I need to use the right one. And I'm going to I'm gonna smooth the floor underneath the doors here. They don't actually matter. I do want to try the new Dune game, I just don't know when I'm quite going to have a chance yet but I would like to take a look at it. I mean, it's still an early access. I mean, it's great for views, certainly, uh, if I can get it now, because people keep asking about it, so clearly a lot of people would be interested in watching. But there's always part of me who's like, ah, do I really want to play early access games? Depends on the state that it's in. Social fight? Oh, there was. Orbra, been cracked. Who did you get in a fight with? Oh, Tsuchin. Oh, wow. So, I'm going to copy the stockpile settings. Paste. Uh, oh, over here. Oh, because of the temperature control, right? That makes sense. Paste. Good. So, herbal meds will get fridged. Regular medicine on the shelf over there. And then... I'm going to move the excellent bed into this room. These are all good. 
Oh, this one's normal. We need to deconstruct that one. How badly hurt were you, Mr. Tsun? Oops. Yeah, just some bruises. That's fine. And then we'll move the other good bed over there. Well, I guess I can move the good one from Tsutsian's in after. So let me just deconstruct that. Okay. <gasps> Call us, are going to celebrate J. Lass and Borbor's wedding! Hooray! Wait, in here? All right. I guess because it's a, uh, a meeting point? Oh, boy. Banana Command tried to convert Private Paul up. Yeah, that's not really going to work too well. <laughs> second wedding, I know. Second wedding for these people, right? This is the same relationship that happened a second time, I think. Is it an open bar? Asking the real questions there, uh, Tyost. Mm -mm. I thought it, I had a wedding spot right here. Not usable volcanic winter. Oh, we probably have to put the wedding spot indoors. You know what? It's time, I'm gonna get rid of this granite steel stell now that we've theoretically got some statue production going on. Poor, but that's okay. Let's start moving some art into this room. And we'll put the marriage spot in here, if it happens in the future. Oh, Non-centered! You know what, we can do something like... Uh... Oh, it'll, have, it'll have to do. I hate it just as much as you guys. <laughs> Table for socializing, lots of decor, yeah. Right, and at some point I can dismantle that. I guess I can dismantle it now. This bathroom is functional. So let's do that. Don't know everything we're gonna do here, we'll see. Food is fine, good. I'm building six by six house in Minecraft. Oh, does that lead to a lot of things not being centered? This is low food. Well, we don't have a lot of cooked meals. Probably, okay, hold on. Our cook's over here. Let's turn off the construction. Uh, for them. I'm still happy that we, we were able to do a bunch of catch-up, get those walls smooth so we'll be able to run some power. Am I out of steel? Yep, probably for a lot of these fancy beds. We do still have steel on the map. So we just gotta wait for more of the mining to come up. But I guess I did build, like, all this, like, steel toilets and stuff. Maybe I could have done more things out of stone. Okay. Mech cluster with a toxic spewer. Mechanoid clusters landed not far from mine shaft, LV426. There's a toxic spewer machine there blanketing the whole region in poison, and there's a mech cluster. Mech cluster will remain until you send a team to attack and destroy it. Is that this? No, farming worksite. Logging worksite. Ancient complex? No, toxic spewer, right over here. Okay, so we have to go over there and kill the machines. Because in, after two days of toxic fallout, the buildup will contaminate any water storage tanks connected to the water wells. Prepare by creating a reserve of water and then using a valve to disconnect the wells to protect the water from contamination before it's too late. Or you can use a deep well to access some contaminated water, blah, 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 or water treatment sins. We're just going to go out and kill these things immediately. Yes, we have EMP grenades. Um, I'm wondering if I just give the mailers the EMP grenades, because, like, accuracy is not going to be critical. I guess they can just have, like, additional sidearms.
Okay. Oh, I'm so worried this is going to be death, but let's see. Form Caravan. We are going there. We're going to bring, like, everyone except one person, basically. Oh, you know what? Hold on. We're not going to bring Private Paula because they have their peg leg. So we'll leave two people behind. Jay and Private Paula. Everyone else is going. Oh, that's literally all of our meals. All right. Let's go. Maybe I should let Borbro. What if they decide to go to sleep? And they're slightly injured too, but that doesn't really matter. Come on, their machines just hit the off button. <laughs> Fallout water contamination. Well, it's supposed to be in two days, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just hoping to deal with this before it's an issue. No reason to wait. And then I can get more steel. Actually, let me cue this now. By replacing more of the steel walls with um, with stone walls. Rip steel walls. You were very cool while you lasted. Oh. You're already brick. And it's marble. Okay. Stable irrigation. Put a separator in. Shut off the pumping. Well, again, I should just be able to, to deal with this before it's a problem. We'll see. Are you guys going? Oh, you're waiting for Borbra. He was just slow. All right, here we go. Scave rat. Oh, shit. Scave rat has the fucking disease. Oh, no. Being carried. Scave rat. Also using one bedroll. Yeah, he's got malaria. I would have I, I would have left scave rat behind. But hey, he can wield the gun. It's going to be fine. It's going to free up some metal for us. Because, so yeah, we're going to use some for the flooring. We're going to use some for the medical beds. But there is still metal on the map that we know about. Maybe what I should do is add the, um, uh, what's it called? Like core, deep core, whoa. Deep drills. Oh. You know what, before fabrication, let's get the deep drilling and the ground penetrating scanners. Are you guys there? No. Okay. <laughs> I thought these were all mechs. <laughs> They're just the ancient shells. They don't matter. Okay. Here, I'm just going to mark them for deconstruction. All right. Yeah, we got a turret and a pikeman. Uh, it does have a shield, but at least we can blow that up. <laughs> oh, man. That was terrifying. Rip me. It says three. Uh, is this the scanner? No, they don't actually have a scanner. And so you only have a melee weapon. Make sure to equip the EMPs. Good. How close can we get here? The mech is named too. Oh my God, it is! Darf Tormin! High shield, not a problem. Oh, right, high shield is just against mortars, right? A 
Okay, I'm gonna get Cyclovex to fire at the turret. Banana Cabana is... Shield belt blocks range. Oh, can we just disable the shield belt? So you can't range at all. I thought I'd just give you a big malice. What's a node do? Oh, capture them intact. All right, banana. You got this, buddy. Trying to get shot by your buddies. You got some cover, some cover and a shield belt. You got this, I believe in you. Yes! All right, get back, your shield belts ran out. Get back before you, oh fuck! <laughs> oh no! All right, you're fine, everything's fine. You're all right. Animal carried. And they'll get treated on the way, we learned. Done. Okay. And do this. Yeah, uh Okay, you're gonna go deconstruct this, yes please. And that. Cause yeah, we'll get some material. Okay, let's let's leave. Reform caravan. Go home, accept. Everyone's there. Shield core. Oh, I can bring back this, but it's quite heavy, but let's bring it back because we can tear it apart for more parts. All right, that seemed good. Yeah, we'll take the pikeman with us. Huge success! How about waterfall of contamination? Toxic fuel should be gone. Game. 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 There it goes. Okay. Hey, yeah, Borbor is gonna get treated along the way. It is uh, it was apparently how it works. Don't rest. Just make sure you push all the way through, please. Takes time for stuff in the wind to dis- Ah, that's true. It was still in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I should just use some wooden plumbing, actually. Yeah, huge success. And Skaverat, yeah, theoretically, hopefully you're beginning your medicine for your malaria as well. Yeah, you're 90% immune and only 48% sick. You're gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about here. I'm good, how are you? Um, right. This is gonna get reinstalled to there. And the, ball, the walls are being replaced, freeing up a little bit of steel for the hospital area. Wish wooden pipes would deteriorate quicker unless they do. Yeah, I don't think they do deteriorate. It would sort of make sense, you're right. But hey, at least it's better than lead pipes, which if I could do lead pipes in this playthrough, I would, because that would make a ton of sense. And yes, reassign the toilet, thank you. Well, we'll have to wait for the bed to be installed. But yeah, that's a good point. You know what the toilet... Uh, no, I was going to say, it'd be nice to do like a communal bathroom like um, 
dwarf or prison architect style, but I don't think I can. I think they're with some of the mods you might be able to do that. Lead pipes make the water taste sweet. Yeah, that's how you make wine taste sweeter too, right? Something, something. Nothing bad ever happened to the Romans because of that. Uh, slate flagstone. Um, I mean, I know it's indoors, but I don't really care about the beauty of this area. So I will just get some more slate flagstone over here, just for consistency. And it does move a little faster. Or I could just smooth all this. Remove that. Actually, I probably can't remove that. It's probably... Some of it is probably dirt. So I will just flagstone all of it for consistency then. Even though it uses up some blocks, but that's okay. Let's use uranium pipes instead. Give it that new Coca-Cola pep. Oh yeah, this is looking really pretty. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Construct. You construct that. That's gonna get moved. Then I don't know what to do with this room. Just gonna deconstruct all the stuff, get the materials back. Since we can. Then hopefully we can get everyone into the uh, the bigger, fancier bedrooms later on. Especially before we get some prisoners. <laughs> Skaver oh, looks like Skaverite is healed. Yeah. Developed immunity to their malaria. Great stuff. Successful treatment done. There we go. Showers are happening. So lovely, actually. A little dirt accumulating on the doormat. That's what it's there for. Wouldn't the volcanic ash captured Taka stuff make the toxic sludge in the ground? That would be awful. Um, I was just about to do something. I can't remember what. Oh, right. Beer making. Yeah, see, the tinctor never gets harvested. It doesn't finish growing in time. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get one thing in here growing the Tinctoria. Because, yeah, it never it never finishes properly over here. And I'm going to switch this to... We've already got... Actually, I don't know if we got any smoke leaf. I'm going to start making a little smoke leaf. Oh, no, that's smoke leaf there. Um, here, I'll just grow some strawberries outside. Just a few in this little corner. Build hospital beds. That's what's happening over there. But yeah, we'll just have one little Tinctoria thing, just so we have a little bit of dye coming in. So it's technically available, should something come up. <laughs> you know what? The ones who are red in construction, let's turn those off. These guys, at least, I mean, they're still not great at it. And they still have other important jobs, but I'm happy about doing the bulk stuff. Get the smoothing done over here so these rooms get done. The pipes don't really need anything in the way of skill. And then we'll see if we can uh, avoid over overloading our constructors going forward. There's been a lot of stuff queued for a while just because of the smoothing. It's too bad smoothing's not just a generic sort of haul job or maybe part of mining. Um, wait, we are completely out of food. Wow. Holy crap. Let's go hunt some rhinos. And yeah, we could butcher some of the farm animals too. They, they should get auto butchered. Hunting rhinos, bad idea. Nah, it's going to be fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh wow, this area, we can get around to like, mining a little gap here for later. That'd be swell. No, we're still carrying the MP grenades on some people, but they're not part of the hunting group. Okay, listen. I, okay. We're gonna be hunting this boomalope apparently. All right, I'm sure that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yes! 
Huge success! A little bit of fire. That's okay. Whew! Oh, social fight from an ideology transfer. I don't think that's the first time that happened. Someone's have to go and pick up that rhino now. Yeah, but we can butcher some of these if it's a problem. Actually, how's the food situation in here? Ah, uh, it's not great. There's probably going to start to be some animal starvation soon. Let's, um... I like how we got a pig named Ribeye. That's very appropriate. Wow. Oh, our pigs are pregnant. Oh, man. We have, uh... Yeah, there we go. Fully grown pig over here. Ribeye. And we have, because we have other male pigs ready to go, we're going to butcher ribeye. Mm -hmm. I think volcanic winter sort of hurt things a little bit over here. Mm -hmm. A bulk goods trader. Oh, is it a sencha again? No, it's not a sencha this time. Rip eye. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Pigs aren't ideal farm animals. I always heard that they were good. They were very good for, for as farm animals in this game. Oh my god! It looked like it just got killed by the wind blade. <laughs> Jeez. That's seriously what I saw. All right, um, Barbara, you're you're a little injured. Let's send Jay out here to do it. Wars used to be OP and remove their ability to haul. Can I not sell them the boomalopes? Because I was about to say it might be a good idea to sell them the boomalopes. We don't really need that much chem fuel. Some people buy boomalopes and apparently some don't. That's interesting. So yeah, we can buy some meat. I think our food situation's probably fine. We have to take a look at, yeah, we've got uh, some random leathers here we can get rid of. We have a lot of plain leather and blue fur. Wow. Shield core. We could buy reinforced barrels for mortars, but I hate mortars. Kitchen base. Interesting. I think they can only make simple uh, meals, but... Yeah, we could buy steel, but... I don't know, but... Could just mods will harvest as well? Mm. I don't think... I don't know if they plant, though. I don't think I want a low-level kitchen bot. We do have to buy stuff, you're right. Oh, I'd already selected this. Okay. Oh, you know what? Neutromine, that's a good point. Let's get ready for drug stuff. Just do one giant purchase of Neutromine. Well, that's going to be like good for like a thousand years. Let's get some Neutromine so we can start potentially doing some drug stuff. Oh, they sell your components. Let's get that as well. And then all of a sudden we don't have any money.
Oh, can I sell the bed? Was it in there? I don't think so. Oh, there's the bed. Thank you. Oops, that's that. Actually, maybe I'll sell the normal quality bedroll as well. We're going to buy the meat just to make sure nothing crazy happens. Yeah, it's going to take all our money. But let's just make sure we're okay. Yeah, we do have a lot of leather. I'd rather turn the leather into clothes. I might be, I might start a bigger batch. We might sell a bunch of the leather. I was just, because I was just seeing like, holy crap, that's a lot of material over here. I think I might start a batch clothing job for money. And it literally doesn't matter what you do. I think every job is kind of balanced. The value of the research, of the good is balanced based on the material and the labor involved. So I don't think it matters which one we make. So I might just queue up like infinitude dusters. I guess things that take more material won't take as much storage. So I was thinking about the, the dusters just because it'll take more material. So one a, a section of storage will be more value. So I'm gonna put the duster job at the bottom here. Well, what I might do, actually, hold on, is I might do a do until X, where X is like 20. There we go, let's do that. Sort of an infinite job, but not quite. Yeah, it'll use a lot of time, but it'll also make them quite good, and it is gonna be a good way to like make money, turn our leather into money. Cowboy hat, sell to Calgary. <laughs> I do like this. I like the little shadow of the uh, of the ceiling fan. And actually, since the shadow's a little offset, it actually looks a little more centered. Barbara getting treatment over there. And yeah, I don't think we actually have the... Um, what is it? Vitals monitor? I don't think we actually have that tech done. We, I don't feel like, say, like we need to rush it, though. I'm going to leave it at the end. Maybe I'll put it bef before the robotics. We don't need to rush it. The hospital beds still help a lot. We limit materials. I don't think I can. I guess you could limit it to just leather. That's a good point, actually. Don't use cloth. Or maybe some, maybe none of these either. Just consume leather. And if we end up having, like, some woolly creatures later on, we can use it to consume that. Yeah, I like that. No herbals in the hospital. I just think it hasn't been brought here yet. Critical herbals and glitter world, apparently. Let me turn off the glitter world. Herbal meds should get brought over there. I think... Oh, this hasn't been deconstructed yet. There, it's happening now, and then things should get moved. Cyclovex wants to change their look. Herbal's not selected? Oh! Oh, I must... I guess I didn't copy from the fridge properly. Because this fridge carried herbals, and I thought I hit copy and then paste, but maybe I just hit paste both times. Herbal medicines. There we go. Yeah, I probably just clicked it wrong when I copied and pasted before. That's why it wasn't working. I'm like, no, no, I know I hit buttons, but virtual opportunity, furry jubilee, we're not gonna care about. Birthday? It's my birthday today, and it's also, oh wait. April Lease has reached biological, biological age of 30. Unfortunately, April Lease has gained the following due to aging, anxiety. I mean, yes. And I like how it's the disease. Extreme anxiety. <sighs> Needs tending now. I think it can be processed. I don't know. Can it go away or is it just the treatment like alleviates the symptoms temporarily? Midlife crisis. God damn it, April Ace. I feel you. I feel you. Oh, you're revealing this because it's not high enough quality. Um, You know what? Let me cancel that. I don't even get to keep the bed. It might, it's probably part of the psychology mod. Oh my God. Can we like preach health? Counsel you for the sad memory. That's not going to work. Damn. More smoke leaf stat. Simple meal on incompetent cook. Wait, really? Scave Rat must have had a bad role in their cooking. 
Because five's not terrible. Must have just had a really bad roll. Five's not terrible and the environment is great. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Oh yes, and the beer brewing. Did we still have to research it? Oh no, brewery. Now, what's the temperature range for beer? Is it gonna be fine in this room? Well, let's put down a barrel here and then we'll see. Yeah, a lot of money tied into those hops. You're right, we have tons of hops. that we could be turning to beer. We'll just fill this room with barrels. Yeah, it says that once you build the barrel, I just didn't know if you get the info for before. If it's between 7 and 35 or whatever, it's gonna be great in here. Although I guess we don't have a heater in this, I just realized, and I don't have a vent for this. Inspired surgery, all right. Let's tuck a heater in this back corner. What's smoking? Oh, 50% maintenance. That's what's smoking. Yeah. There is a mod you can get that breaks this down into subtasks. Because it would be nice to have a whole bunch of people work maintenance. Old hospital for barrels. Maybe. Maybe. Cooking skill 5 equals 1% chance of food poisoning. Wow. Oh, yeah, and the radiators, which are probably, I mean, they're better for electricity. They're probably better for material as well. Yeah, well, we don't have a ton of slag, but um, I don't remember. Is that, that would be, I think there's the smelter here. No. That's smithy. I don't have a smelter. Um, let me get a smelter over here. to get those. Oh. The, wait. The wife of April Leaf. April Leaf's wife is another Gene C over here. They're married but don't live together. I guess they're separated. Sure. I mean, that that's fine. That happens. And yes, you're right. I'll have to reset the temps as well. Well, mostly what I want is um, these coolers here. I don't want... I, I think I, I tend to like to set a 21 on those. It's mostly the heaters I tend to set down to like an 18. Although I suppose I can... Um... I don't want to get selected here. Oh, I want to make sure I don't grab those. I'll just go and set these to 23. Just to make sure. Just married for the prestige. <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll have to tweak the radiator once it comes in. Barbara, hope you're feeling okay. Come over here and have a chat. Not like that they're married, so that's why they don't live together. Oh, is this just a tribute collector? Oh, well, screw this. Hey, Q Cirque, thank you! For pure biorefined beverage, ethanol, and synthetic chocolate fun. Happy birthday! Thank you very much! <laughs> I got some nice beer in the fridge for my post stream gonna be lovely. Got some bone shaker. Love that. It's an India Pale Ale from Amsterdam Brewery, which is from Toronto, because that makes sense. I guess it makes sense, about as much sense as everything else in this world. Okay. All right, all that backlog of construction is finally coming together. That's nice to see. Door, door. 
and power. Boston Pizza's Canadian. <laughs> Arizona tea's from New York? Really? Oh, I didn't know that. I know Philadelphia cream cheese is from New York. Because apparently at the time, like, the best dairy came from Philadelphia, so it tried to associate itself with that brand. Plumbing for the bathrooms and new... Oh, in the new rooms. Yes, you're right. Skin chocolate. Banana! Hey! Happy birthday, Mr. Quill. Have I got to eat anyone in? That's right. Banana Cabana over here is a cannibal. And no, we have not fed any people to Banana Cabana yet. At least not that we know about. Maybe things have been happening in secret. Maybe uh, our cremator is not always cremating things. Maybe it's sometimes been used as a barbecue. These things could happen. You know, if you try to wipe, if you wipe out the Imperial Faction and still try to give you missions with description bugs out. Oh, really? No. All right, deep trolling is done. Although, so it, it always struck me as kind of weird that you got the deep drills before the radar. I guess you can build a drill in a random area. You might get lucky. And if nothing else, you can build a drill and you get a constant supply of stone. We have almost certainly... Oh, these things aren't full, actually. We don't have an overkill on water, which is interesting. Hmm. You worried he was going to eat me last week? <laughs> I was still sick when I died. <laughs> we still have this volcanic winter. It's been going on for 18 days. That's one of the reasons our food situation has been a little hurt. It's interesting that we're not actually planting these. We do actually run negative power sometimes. Look at that. Oh, I didn't expect that. I bet your solar panel is not working very well. That's interesting. Yeah, putting a switch to the turrets. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, actually, it would be inconvenient because the main power routes through the same cable as the turrets are on. I suppose I can just go and, like, flick all the turrets off. And the cremator. It's a little annoying to flick the turrets back on if there's a problem. But right now we got the, the Imperial Guard ready to defend us. Yeah, so there, I mean, there's, there's other geothermals, certainly. Was there one down here? Because this would be a little bit more convenient to get to. Yeah, one over here. No, maybe that one is the easiest. Just knowing, because I'm going to want to probably route the power this way, because I don't really want to mine through this area, because it would make us vulnerable to sappers. Uh, although, I guess we could wall rewall it up, because they'll also mine through things. It's true, we could just, like, do a full, complete walling. Maybe that would be better. Or I could just, like, claim this whole area as, like, a bigger pen for my animals. Maybe. Big pen, more food. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a ton of any kind of block right now, which is a little annoying. We have to encourage more crafting to happen. Mm. I know there's no hauling space, but I'm still going to designate it. If you hunt me, I can eat myself. <laughs> yeah, if you get hungry, just take a bite out of your hand there. So we got a sprinkler in here. So if there's a fire, we won't lose our hydroponics, which are expensive to build and important for our food. Really, should get some sprinklers in our stockpiles, although it won't cover everything. Oh, the outliners are leaving. There we go. Good, get the hell out. We've been eating all our food. Scare at level six cooking. Did we shred the mercs? Uh, the mech. Well, probably, because otherwise we'd probably see it maybe in the stockpile. I do think I have 
Yeah, the shred mechanoid job was on, so presumably that happened. And yeah, where do we want to put our piano? Do we want to make a common room over here? I think we're going to maybe just add it in here. In our social room. Yeah. Wait, you think the sprinkle only activates if the tile is in the... In the fire's in the tile or within close to it? I guess the fire poppers work a similar way. I think they pop and cover a larger area than they actually do, but I don't know. It'll still be something. Mercs have been shredded by Ferrari. Wow! <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way. Yeah, the Mercs as opposed to the Nex. Area re Oh. Oh, we cut that and we revealed the cup, an empty tile over there. Okay. Whew. Put an urgent haul on that. I know, no storage space, but as soon as we get some. Clear this away. I suppose I could I could make a big rock storage somewhere else, but I don't think that's a good use of our of our time. There we go. Banana cabana making blocks, thank you very much. So Where's the shuttle? Because I can tell them to leave now, right? Because they're going to leave on their own in a little bit. In the kill box? Oh, thank you. Right there. Uh... Get the fuck out. Nobody likes you. Leave. Both in there? Good. Send it. Woo! Pop's arrived. Pop scored in a great bow. Apparently is a potentially a good weapon. Ooh, this is big. Just press auto load. And then it'll do it? Okay. Well, next time. Ground penetrating scanner. There we go. Now, I think the scanner had to be outside. Needs a bunch of steel. Yeah, it does need to be outside. Yeah, literally, potentially even unroofed. I'm not sure about that. So I guess, I guess it must not zzzt if it doesn't have to be roofed. Okay. I don't technically need to rush it quite yet, because we do still have steel around. Um, we just might need to make sure more mining is happening. I mean, well, all this mining is complete, so actually the surface mining should be completing here. Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to cancel these two hospital beds for a scooch. Yeah, let me do that. The interaction spot can be roofed. Oh, that's interesting. So they don't get rained on. Because I might prioritize walling this area off first. Huh. Sentimonica, the the rat over here, having a little snoozle. Okay, we still have a fair amount of slate, so let's use the slate first. I'll leave a little gap here. just to be able to access things. We'll get started on that. I'll probably want to double thick this wall just to discourage sappers. And a new election! Jay and Juno. So Jay's our current mayor. So they're running again. Only good citizens to, refer to be part of the colony. Yes, I agree. What does Juna think? Society's only as strong as most capable members. Hmm, interesting. Traditional values are all our values. Oh, it's the conservative candidate right there. And then, yeah, we can just mine through this. Which I suspect something like that will probably happen. 
but I don't want to open a gap yet. I want to get the basic wall up, and then, yeah, we'll just mine through and connect things. It'll be lovely. But yeah, I just want to leave these holes for now. Well, we're going to we're gonna close that in later, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. Some level up over here. Oh, that's going to be grand. Look at our base. I was thinking we were going to be doing more money indoors right now, but we still have some, some exposed surface veins, so it's not like it's a big deal. I'm tempted to, like, maybe cut a couple of little exploratory tunnels through here to see what we see. Oh, yes, wart production. Thank you. Make wart. And that can be set to forever. 7.30, that's fine. And then you're here to the radiator. I'm just going to go and drop that down. Just maintain 18. So 18 to 23 is what we're going to try to maintain in here, which is grand. Um, which is good in general. But then, yeah, we could fill this room with barrels because we can clearly do a lot more brewing. But I don't know if we're going to do much else with this room here. We can probably just get some barrels happening in this room. And that's probably going to be fine enough. We've got a backlog of um, of hops. But I think this will this will let us catch up pretty easily. Oh, we could have them in the hydroponics room. That's pretty smart. It's in the mountain, so it's always well temperature maintained. And we got some heaters in there. Actually, it's only 15. Do we not have a door here? So we have the radiator. Radiator temp zero. Are you not connected to things? Does it have to be connected to a thermostat to work? Oh, this is on now. What changed? You had hot water. Why were you not working and now you're working? Unchanged? Do they not use the stored hot water? And we got a lot of food now. That's nice. I'm going to turn the power on in this. I mean, these tanks had water. You think the temp was too low? Oh yeah, the meter wasn't filled up. I guess we lost too much temp overnight. So I could add more storage and add more, well, I guess I don't need more solar heaters because these did fill up during the day. Maybe I could add more storage or I'm just gonna keep the electric boiler here. It actually doesn't use that much power. I'm actually quite surprised. So this will help like, I suspect this might not be enough to like maintain it all through the night, but as long as it buffers it a little bit more, we'll be okay. Tanks don't hold a lot of heat through the night. Okay. That, that I guess, explains that. It's okay. We're going to have more power soon. Should we carpet? I mean, these things haven't even been smoothed. I will smooth the walls. Uh, da, 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 da. Like, the other bedrooms have smoothed floors. But maybe these should have carpets. So we could introduce some different colors in here. God, I wish these walls matched. Like, they're both limestone, but this is the brick, and it kind of annoys me that it's not the same texture set. Oh, we do have a bunch of art. Yeah. Okay, let's get a piece of art in each one of these. I mean, they're not great sculptures, but they're still sculptures. And then... couple more in here. So, speaking of art, how are you doing, Cyclovex? Uh, you're not at a 5 yet. Really need Cyclovex to get to a 5 in art. Because then you can start making jewelry. Mm. 
Carpet's in the favorite color of the owner of the room. Oh, we'll give him a mood boost, won't it? Who's got the plague? Cyclovex has the plague. Oh no! It'll be fine. Probably, maybe. I mean, we still have, we do still have actual medicine, right? Yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. How's the research? All right, fabrication. I like getting that, because then once you get the fabrication set up, you know you're not going to run out of components. It's important, because it actually takes a lot of components to even get that started. Art in the mayor's office? I guess that's true. We'll probably benefit from that. Getting some poor art over here. <laughs> it's probably the talk of the colony, how, like, the art is completely shitty. It's They're just, like, really bad corporate logos. Like, there's a girl on TikTok that, like, redesigns corporate logos in like terrible ways. And it's hilarious. They're so bad. It's really amazing. Like it's an intentional joke. Yeah, that furry Jubilee comes up all the time. Oh, it's those lame motivational posters. That's what this is. It's like the soaring eagle motivational poster kind of statue. Yes, I like that. Mm-hmm. Or like painting the hotels. Yeah, just generic hotel art. Hang in there, poster. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Kitty's cute. Well, this is full up. Wow. And yeah, the plan will be to mine through this. I'll, like, get it started, but not finish it. Photos of the CEO in his Ferrari. <laughs> you bigger, right? Yeah, I'm just starting to expand it here. We'll probably be bigging it a little bit more, especially. I think I think this will just all be one pen. As long as soon as we mine through this, this entire area will become part of the same pen. And I think that's gonna be lovely. And then yeah, we can extend the barn even more. Moobot is pregnant! Aww! Cute! Do, 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 do. Oh, let's uh, deconstruct the razor wire. We'll probably get some steel. Well, I guess we get chunks out of that, but still. I did build a smelter, or no, we're building a smelter over here. We need more steel. Banana doing a little cleaning, continuing to make blocks for us. How lovely. Oh, someone's got the flu. Scave rat's got the flu. Man, a lot of sickos. Oh. If only I'd kept the drugs to help with that, huh? Moobot is spawning a child process. Nice! Oh, Bitter Ashes, thank you very much for another gift sub to uh, Imperfect Damon. Oh, is he the sickly one? Cyclovex is sickly, you're right. I did give him plus four medical, which is interesting. bit of maintenance happening. But I like it. We're using more time, but we're not burning components. And I think I really like it that. I really like that. We can get deployment. You can get development points from Employee Appreciation Day. You know what? Let's run one. Employee Appreciation Day. Yeah. And we got 100% modifier. Literally couldn't get better. Speech over. Party has begun. Unst, 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 unst. Yeah, we can get our ideology development points. It was a terrible one! Literally had maximum modifiers. We were at a hundred percent. Free pizza and soda limit one slice per person. Yeah, and we went and like cut all the pizza slices in half. So they're just little thin ones. Son of a. 
playlist with trash. <laughs> oh yeah, I love the demotivators posters. Yes. Believe in yourself because the rest of us think you're an idiot. I love those demotivational posters. I mean, that is so sort of uh, peak late 90s, early 2000s. Jeez. I want to mine out this area. Peak meme cultures. I still think that, like, the advice animal memes, you know, and maybe that's, like, that that's an age thing showing, but I still really like those. I thought they were, like, really... It was really interesting because they were properly sort of mimetic in that they had a really set language, you know, if you saw a duck, you knew it was going to be advice. If you saw a duck with a red head, that was terrible advice mallard, right? There was a whole language based on very specific imagery. Although I do like the the, the sort of like, what is it, about five years ago, we started really getting like those deep fried memes, started to get more and more surrealistic. And I appreciate that in a different way, but I really like the advice animals. Like insanity wolf advice. Mm -hmm. Every now and again, I see them come up again. They get a re they get a they get a renaissance, and it makes me happy. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll cancel those. Just try to get the slate over there first. Banana Cabana's got inspired creativity. Well, isn't that lovely? Foul bachelor frog. Yes. Yes. Okay. Close these in. Oh shit. Needs a mod for setting priority on a specific workbench or job. Yeah, sort of. I mean, the job you can just put it higher in the workbench queue, but you're right about like the workbench itself. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Spot hasn't been built yet? Oh, it is there! Because of the flowers, I thought it was just blank. And I thought maybe it was an invalid spot. I couldn't actually see the little square. Silly flowers. Ruining everything. Yeah, demotivation posters were coming out in the late 90s. That's what I thought, too. Ooh, we got a zut. Zut alors. And a little fire, but it got dealt with right away. Must have been here. Given the, uh, the damage pattern. New area zone. Yeah, I suppose all this is going to get home zone, which probably okay. I mean, we do need to stop fire and also repair. Okay, so that entire area has been blocked off now. So now what we need to do is mine this out. And with that in mind, mind, I'm going to max out everyone's mining priority, which will include this area over here. Should do this fairly quickly because it's fairly close. Mm -hmm. Still a gap. I think that maybe that last one there was done, but yeah. And there's no door access over here, but that's okay. We're going to mine into here, and then we'll access this without a door. Gap's closed now. Yep. I think we're good. Fire starting spree. Suitsian. This oh, literally happened randomly because of the perk. All right. This is fine. reset everyone here it was great when they were outdoors the indoor ones are a little scary because um the temperature can get quite high in there happened during the election as well it's, maybe it was his way to, to protest the election and then we still are lacking power after the zut Time to knock, knock me. They did. I did check the religion. They they are Pi. They do have a religion. Because otherwise, I was gonna I was gonna arrest them. I'm still waiting for three and Private Paula to have a break so I can excuse arresting them. Raid, lure pact, attacking immediately. All right. It's all primals. That's good. All right. 
I don't think we've got any of our peeps out there. I guess I will, you know, at least Borbara, I'm going to get you here immediately because I'm worried that you're going to go to bed. But everyone else, I'm just going to wait. Okay, they're getting pretty close. Oh shit, the power's off on the guns. Jay, where are you going? everyone. Get you all over here. Jay? Like, I'm surprised not no one else is grabbing it. The basic stuff set to like a one. Maybe there's some priority hall in mine, because the mining shouldn't have taken over. And oh, we still have our trap. Well, we actually, we don't have all our traps, because we didn't have enough steel. That basic was set to priority one. Oh, no, it's set to a three! These used to be set to ones. The clean plus got turned off as well. Oh, <gasps> did I turn it off because of the interns? I turned off the clean plus because I had the interns. Maybe the basic was always a three. I bet you it was. This guy smashed the door. He thinks he can avoid the traps that way. I think these guys are gonna break soon. I should actually have a secondary doorway set up over here so that when they break, we can chase them a little faster. Damn you, Job! How dare you break the door? Die. Straight down. Get a good shot. Over here. Uh, are they all dead? So that's just, they're fleeing. Is there anyone actually left alive to flee? Oh, yeah, over here. I don't think we're going to catch them. All right, just unrecruit then. You're going to be fine. Any wigglers? Looks like... No. Strip. Wait. Oh, oh, oh there is phase. Three hours... Underground or tortured art is tough. I'm betting tough makes it harder to convert. No, it doesn't. Well, let's try. Um. Oh. We even have a little herbal medicine storage over here, which is what the prisoners are assigned to get. I'm going to reset everyone, so someone should go and medicine them immediately. Let's see. 0.2 hours, 9 seconds, 8.3! Hey, hey! Oh, so close! Oh my god! Oh, 6 seconds. We need to we need to finish another bandaging job! Oh, eh, just, no! No, no. <laughs> Oh, race against time. Woo! If you recruited someone, you contend without medicine, which, is, while not great, will stop them to ble bleed to death. Oh, that's true! Right, they, can, they might get infected, but they won't bleed to death. Maybe I'll leave the guns on. I guess I should turn this on again. Just because we've got some bodies. Right, so now that that's coming in, what we want to do is we want to get ready to do this. Although we can't reach there, not that we have the material either. Oh, someone did smash their way through this, which is actually kind of annoying. Ah, j -Lass is going to be stuck inside! Oh, just barely made it out! Oh, that's funny. We still have everyone set to, like, mining as a priority, so someone should come and do this. I guess there was, there was still this area. Let me cancel this little section. <laughs> Can make the drill thermal out of wood. Um, I don't believe there's any options there. No, they, there's no choice. At least with the mining turned on, like they'll, they'll they'll carve this out first because it's it's nearby. I mean, I know they're doing the. Uh, I shouldn't have bothered with the uh, 
this. I should have deselected it at some point, but they're going to mine this out because it's nearby. And then they'll go and start mining some steel over here. So we're going to get our steel for the geothermal pretty quick. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. All right, haul that stuff out. And then... Oh, yeah, I can't click and drag. That's too bad. And we'll sleep spots and straw matting. Done. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I probably will get a second flap, but they're going to be able to walk through here. It's going to be interconnected. Right, we don't care about that. Oh, bulk goods trader. Hello, trade ship. Well, we'll have to wait for Borber to be awake before we can do that. Smoking smoke leaf joint. Oh, we don't have the production for it yet. So we must have just gotten some from someone. Yeah, we have some people on construction duty still, which is fine. How do you botch a hay floor? I don't know. That's a good question. In the earlier RimWorld stream, you had used to do medical spots where enemies fell so they could be treated in place. And that's true. I still like the idea of, like, dragging him over here. It's fine. I mean, we could do that. I, I wasn't I wasn't married to that person. But you are right. And the medics carried med kits. Yeah, I think you need a mod to have them carry that. But yeah, and then the sleep spot and they could treat people faster. I don't think I'm going to care about doing that this time. Oh, oh Borba's up. Let's have a little chat. Oh, let's have a little chit chat with the bulk goods trader, please. <laughs> Maybe I can't sell boomalops to space traders. I'll sell off the chem fuel. I don't need more neutromine. We might want this. You know what, I'm going to sell the tiny little bit of this we have. Let's sell the one joint we have left over. Let's sell the rubies. And the jade. And the power claw. I'm going to sell the power claw. Uh, oh, I did have diamonds. Yeah, we'll sell those as well. It makes sense that we'll sell the, the the gem stuff. Even though I think we can unlock better jewelry with it later, but that's okay. I'm going to keep the gold because we need it for various things. Oop. Not the bedrolls. The sculpture, yes. The bedrolls, no. Level 5 crap. Yeah, 14 grand. I don't think so. Now, um... We could import some steel... Oh, pods can carry meds and vanilla? Okay, we might consider that. Or I just don't sell as much as some other stuff. Or maybe I buy, buy Plasteel. Because we're actually having a hard time finding that. Keep the claw. I suppose I could keep the claw for now. Yeah, they're not willing to buy that. Still think it might be funny to get them addicted to Lucy. All right, we'll keep the claw. And buy a little Plasteel. Since they're broke. There we go. Banana hasn't had to do much digging. For a mining colony, there hasn't actually been that much mining in a while. Control click for plus 100. Oh, nice. Yes, you could actually buy Lucy from the sky with diamonds. That's true. With this trade skip ship, we could trade diamonds for Lucy. That's... Wow. Wow. There we go. So now this... Pen now extends over here. So now they have lots of nutrition. Huzzah! There we are. 
I like this. Don't even have to worry about hay anymore. All that, please. Uh, zoning. Well, I mean, we can check the home zone situation, but it auto home zones by default. So these walls will be protected from fire. It'll home zone around these cables, which is going to be okay. Um, animal zoning, maybe. You know, I, maybe I guess I will home zone the inside of all this so that if there's a fire inside, we do put it out. That seems like an okay idea. Because animals are allowed everywhere except part of our fridge. That's what that is. Um, I don't consider that area to be safe. No, I think I think our zones are okay, unless there's something I forgot. So now our miners should be going over here and mining out some steel so that we can, uh, we'll eventually get this built up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the construction for the people who don't have passion for it right now because there's not as much construction uh, to be done. And if there is any to be done, I'd like it to be done by people with skill. I still kind of want to finish this hallway, but it doesn't actually matter. And yeah, so with the assign, we can just change the number here. Do we want them to carry drug and medicine? Because if we do, we still have to like slap down the um, the bed somewhere. Them carrying medicine doesn't really do anything unless we also put down the, the treatment spot, right? More light and bing bing. Yeah, we do. It's very dark there. Select type. No, wait. Will they just treat as is? If you drop, no spot needed. What? Okay. Um, it would be nice if that screen included who was a doctor. Orbra, Cyclovex, Cyclovex, Scave, Suit, 3. Scave, Suit, 3. I mean, I suppose anyone can do it, but this way... And we could switch durable meds, but wouldn't we just carry regular? Well, I guess the um, if it's going to be the treat like like POWs, then herbal meds would be okay. But it would decay. We've got a mad buck. All right. Well, there's no one nearby right now. It'll probably just die to traps, or these miners are going to die. Uh, I was going to say, this might actually might work out poorly. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Maybe I should have retreated them. You want them to carry industrial-grade meds, herbals rot. And that's what I was thinking. Like, if they just carry around their herbals, eventually they'll decay, and that's no good. I use names starting with M for doctors. That's a pretty smart way of doing it. Oh, yeah, all these trees are going to get cut down because they're part of the, uh, the animal pen. And that's set to auto chop. Which is fine, then we're gonna have lots of food for a while. Is that that's a new trade ship, isn't it? Oh no, that was an old message. Same thing with the election, that's already happened. I think. Anyway, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they might carry him for a year and then have them decay. We may as well carry around proper medicine for emergency treatments. Seems like a good idea. Dead person in the prison? Oh yeah. I can't let's pick that up yet. Oh god, these social fights. Peter Antwistle and Private Paula. Yeah, because the conversion attempts. Wow. At least no one's sick anymore. That's good. At MD to the nicknames. That's not a terrible idea. Since their names have been randomized already. And the, it won't break the link. Election, there was another tie, and the tie was settled for Jay, for whatever reason. Again. So Jay is once again our mayor, for the second time in a row. Second term. And yeah, I know there's pigs here too, which have just now rotted. They weren't rotted a second ago. I don't know why they were there. I mean, our cooks may have been distracted by things, or red, yeah. Oh well. The rotten pigs will get cremated. Warts rotting away in storage? Wait. Guess 
there's not enough barrels. Uh, no, they just ha I don't think the wart got added in here. So we just have to make sure there's a wart storage. Oh, um, the cooks. Let's turn off the, uh, the mining for the cooks. And actually, maybe for the people who are shit at mining as well. Well, we don't have to change the storage anywhere else. The fridge is a higher priority. Um, so the, the wart's going to end up here. Oh, I didn't realize. I actually only clicked on this little area. There we go. But yeah, now the wart's going to get dropped off here. I don't have to remove it from anywhere else. Like, the everywhere else is going to become overflow storage for it. Actually, speaking of, these storage tiles are not as full as they used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have plenty of steel now, like, coming in. It's not... It's not stored everywhere. Well, some of it is being stored, actually. So Jay is doing construction. Yeah, doing the power conduit stuff, grabbing steel from various places. And has to reset these traps, too. Should I should I turn them to, to, to stone? At this point, maybe we will go back to stone traps for a little while. Um, I've got a bunch of granite. I'll probably set them to not be rearmed. Let's see. I'm not going to worry about. I'm not going to rush to double wall this area. Do want to set the new traps? We'll wait to rewall the area. We'll get the the other power up first. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, deep, deep drills are already researched. Yeah, as is the radar. But right, are they fighting here again? You know why? It's because Private Paula's religion needs, like, her to be super loyal. And uh, Peter Entwistle's religion, which is ours, is a proselytizer. So th she keeps getting offended that we try to... Is it time to do the arrest? Arrest convert. I don't know. Maybe. Peter Antos has got the mess melee, which I think is what is used. Numbers mod for rest chance. Oh, oh, life of the cookies. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what category that's under. Combat. I might just have to add a, ta uh, a, a stat here. Arrest success chance. So J or Borbra. Oh, maybe it's social? Hundred percent chance. Hmm. Alright, Private Paula, you need some HR re education. See, I assumed it's melee. Maybe it's but no, because Borbra's melee chance is a one. So it's not that.
So, jealous, darkness, awful prison cells. You're upset you ate meat. Well, you know what? We're going to solve the problem of you eating meat. You don't have to worry about eating meat. Because this is going to happen. Should we rest three as well? Conversion ritual is not going to work for her. She doesn't, because of her traits, she doesn't convert enough. What we have to do is we're going to have to get her to get a break where she, um, uh, she has a crisis of, fa of faith. <laughs> Three in chat says, but no, you don't need to do that. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see if you get into any fights. Private Paul has just gotten into way too many fights here. So we're going to do something about this. You're going to wall me in to completely retreat it? Mm-hmm. Put a chunk in there. For even less beauty. I mean, it should be pretty dirty as is. But let's let's do it. Dumping stockpile. It'd be great to put a corpse in here. A rotting corpse would be the ideal. Oh, and we do have one? Great. Hold on a sec. Hang on. Can we? No. Okay. Clear all. Critical priority. For a human corpse. And it doesn't matter if it's fresh or rotten. Eventually it'll rot. Okay. No, hold on. Cancel that. Let's put a lucky dead set in here. Excellent. Priority hall. Ooh, banana's gonna change their look. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Oh, a little conversion attempts. Here's the thing. As long as she's in a bad enough mood, she won't get the mood boost retain retention. So she will eventually flip. But if we can force a crisis, that'll be better. Confined interior. She's not awake, so I don't think she's seen the corpse yet. Jay, come over here and uh, work on this, will you? How was that? That was probably medical treatment. Oh, don't feed the prisoner! You're gonna get locked in there. Oi. Oh my god, food poisoning! Never mind! I was wrong! Feed the prisoner! <laughs> Beautiful! There we go. I mean, we don't want them to starve to death, but we do want them to be- there we go, at zero over here. Now, they need to wake up because their mood cha doesn't change right now. We need them to not be asleep. They don't have a schedule anymore. There's nothing I can do to force her awake. Maybe it's because of the injury she's on full rest mode. That's actually slightly annoying. She needs to be awake so that she can have a break. And then it's going to be a 50-50 chance of whether she goes berserk or she has a crisis of faith. Um, we don't want to forbid the door because if she goes berserk, she's going to smash the door. But if she goes berserk, she, she won't smash the wall and she'll be stuck in there. Take her peg leg. <laughs> the savage cougars. Ten manhunting cougars. Honestly, we could probably deal with that. But I don't think I care about any of these rewards. Uranium? I mean, it's rock, but no, not really. Three sick. Seriously, wake up. Oh my god. I don't think she'll wake up until her injuries are gone. That's so annoying. Maybe we should feed her another meal. She's still got some food. So, yeah, who should equip the great bow? Let's compare. So the bolt action rifle. 18 damage, 27 pin. Great bow, 26 damage, 22 pin. Range 30, which I don't think is going to be quite as good but it's still pretty amazing. So I don't think we'll give it to our hunter because I think we want the range of the sniper rifle that April Lee's has. But otherwise, maybe Jay, oh my God, April Lee. Oh, this is counting all the critters. They've hunted and everything. Uh, oh, Jay has a, wait, redu is that better for the amp time? You're trigger happy, but you're still super accurate. Oh, you're going to get the great bow, my friend. Instead of the shotgun. Hell yeah. <laughs> People don't break when they're asleep. 
Although, I, actually, I don't think she's asleep. No, she's sleeping now. Um, you, you never break while you're asleep. So she needs to wake up before she breaks. And I guess prisoners are just on full-time rest if they're injured. But there you go, her final injury. Although maybe she won't wake up with the food poisoning. Hmm, I don't know, that might be different. She might wake up when her bruise is fixed. Oh, that's annoying. Is she gonna sleep through the food poisoning? Nope, there we go, she's up. Okay, so now, <laughs> animal slaughtered. Hey, where, where's your, you saw a corpse. You're nude, oh, there we go. Observed rotting corpse. Perfect. I mean, it didn't matter. She was already at zero. So now we wait. Eventually she'll break, and then it's a coin flip whether she'll go berserk or change religion. And as long as she changes to a different religion than she is, we'll be able to convert her much more easily. <laughs> jealous of bedroom. Yeah, I can't imagine why she's jealous of a bedroom. Crisis of belief. Oh yeah, it's only minus 50%. I forgot about that. It's not an instant conversion, it's minus 50%. Um, but now, she's below 50%, so if she gets another crisis, now she will convert. Or we could move her out of here and just try to do some, or not even move her out of here, we could we could open it up and try to talk to her. Plague! Some sick animals, hopefully they get treated okay. We could, uh, the thing is, conversion ritual, it's still gonna be cut by her resistance amount. Because I think the conversion ritual does like, I mean, if we get the Masterful, it'll work. I mean, we could try it. Uh, her percentage per day doesn't come up because her mood's too low, right? Her mood is so low because it's below 20%, she's not going to regain any. So I think I'm just going to wait for a second crisis. Although she's going to start starving soon. She's got food poisoning right now anyway. She might not have much of an appetite. Because, yeah, the, she's got the, she still has the 40%. She only gets 40% of the conversion amount. So a convert ritual plus convert action won't be enough to flip her. She puked on a corpse. Well, then the mood, the room's going to be that much more miserable. I mean, I don't think there's any way for her to go above 0% mood right now anyway. Okay, she's starting to get malnutrition. I, sh I, th I should feed her one time. She just had a break, so there's a cooldown. She doesn't have the catharsis. You get cathar catharsis from Berserk, but there's still an internal cooldown. Feed her meat. I think most of our meals will be meat. I don't. I can't really pick and choose explicitly here. I can't. I can't force it. So yeah, we'll try to give her a meal. No cleaning bot. Damn it. Can I set her food to meat only? I suppose with an assignment. So it's okay. Her mood's gonna be zero regardless of what we give them. Hey, aren't you set to wardening? HR is brutal in this company. Mm hmm. Why is no one bringing her a meal? There's a cannibal restriction we could set. That's funny. Was she still in a psychotic break? Maybe she was still in a psychotic break from that. Maybe. She wouldn't have eaten anyway. Because she did have the bluish name. There we go. Now her food has been delivered. Excellent. So now, we just wall her back in. <laughs> Dust bunny. <laughs> Um, if my traps were up again, I might accept the Savage Cougars thing. But I didn't particularly care for the quest, the uh, reward anyway. My wife's a dog combined eater meal. That's true. The dogs were doing that. 
I suppose what I should do, actually, is the animals... Oh, no, the animals aren't allowed in the zone anymore. Yeah. Although, I'm going to make sure they can't get the corpse either. But yeah, the animals aren't allowed to come in here, so they can't steal the meal. Three, can you come over here and build the swap place? Thanks. Great stuff. All right. Good. <clears throat> Oh, well, that's true. We could just, like, ignore the cougars and then they wouldn't come in anyway, as long as we're inside the base. Now, what I think we need to do... We probably want to be able to access this without going through the kill zone so that we can technically seal things off. I don't know. I'm not going to prioritize that. Yeah, if I... I could build a ton... a hallway here... Let's wait until this is finished coming up. We still need a uh, last little electrical cables to happen. Oh, thanks, McCannon. What was it? Four o'clock? Jeez. Oh, well, something like that. I can still leave a door, say, over here for now, and then just dig a little thing over here. Cold snap! Oh, come on! Oi, it's a good thing we've got hydroponics. Harvest anything you can harvest not right now, please. Let's see if we can break Private Paula first. Oh yeah, so she's got the catharsis. Yeah, okay, and see, here's the problem. With the prisoners, so normal pawns can break anytime they're below this first tick. They can have a minor break, and then they can have a moderate break. With the prisoners, it needs to be all the way at the bottom area over here. And I'm not sure... When she becomes hungry, she will... There we go. She will get low enough. So now she can have her extreme break. There we go. All we're trying to do is train her the value of being a good, um, uh, uh, like, you know, company worker person type. Would the sewage be a different... So if we put the sewage in the room? Maybe. Maybe. What we almost have to do is, like, dig out another spot here to put more debuffs in. Since I can't put a stockpile underneath the bed, I'm thinking maybe these rooms should be 2x2 two two instead of 2x1. I don't know if you can break with the catharsis. That I'm not sure about. It's possible catharsis breaks uh, prevents any break whatsoever, but I don't think so. Well, a nice large room. There's a space for the corpse, the sewage, the loose rocks. Well, the, the rocks can be here, but I can't make a stockpile on the sleep spot. If there was already rock there, we could put the sleep spot on top. But yeah, maybe what we do is we make two by two rooms in here in the future. And then we can put some extra rocks and ugliness or something like that. I'm um, betting maybe she can't break with catharsis. In which case, I need to do this and feed her meals so that she stays alive through the catharsis. And then just wall it back up then. They can break? Remove sleep spot, place... I guess we could do that for the others. Remove the sleep spot, place some rocks there, and then put the sleep spot back in. And then I guess forbid the rocks so they don't actually get used for uh, crafting. Oh, yeah, remove it from safe spot so it doesn't get cleaned. That's right. My people aren't assigned to the sleep, the safe zone, are they? No, they're unrestricted. Okay, just the robot is set to the sleep zone. Just draft and bring rocks manually. Oh, can I do that? Team building exercise soon. Come on, Paula. I gotta bring her. There's no re like. Theoretically, her environment could get worse, but it doesn't matter. Her mood is at zero. 
No, and plus her outdoor timer is dropping as well. Her comfort's probably gonna keep dropping. I don't know, it, the comfort might restore a little bit by, by lying down, but not by much. Now, sometimes she might, I guess someone said there's no, there's no bedpans for the enclosed rooms. No, I don't know Project Hail Mary. So I mean, this, now the thing is, as long as she's in a bad mood, we actually could do eventually convert her. Ah, shit. Fell plotting. She's retiring to her room to scheme. Oh, I'm betting, I'm betting that's the psychology mod. So there's not two breaks for us. There might be more than two breaks for us because of the psychology mod. I'm betting that's what this is. Life of the cookie, that's our puppy. Yeah, well, we'll try to get her some food. I know, severe malnutrition, I know. Someone's gotta drop some food in there, but maybe doesn't wanna do it because she did snap. Serves her right. Who's she plotting about here? Oh, she fell down. Well, at least her mood got fixed. So let me just reset everyone because someone's gonna come and take care of her. Put her in bed and they'll feed her a meal. We might be able to do it with the ritual now. Again, it's the ritual's gonna do 40% less. So a, a ritual convert plus convert action won't flip her. But now we actually, since she's not regenerating, we can just do it the other way. And maybe, maybe she'll get another snap too. Can we convert someone while they're unconscious? Oh, we've got an 11 day cool, or sorry, no. This one here is basically up. You've been fed though, right? Yeah, okay. Still the malnutrition, but you've been fed. Oh, someone cremated the corpse. I should have just forbidden it. Wasn't thinking. There you go. Uh, boom. 71%. No. Let's try. Need to kill someone else. Create a new corpse. Dig up the first employee. So yeah, I think she'll only get 40% of the effectiveness. But I'll still bring it closer. Is it cold in here? Oh yeah, this cold snap is actually very cold. Oh, she's going to freeze to death. Oh no, no, we do have the area heated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was masterful. I think it just worked then. Yeah, masterful, beautiful. So, we need to re-recruit you. At least you have no will, so it'll happen quickly. Move you over here. A little bit more comfortable. Oh, we can release her and not worry about it anymore. Will is for slavery. Oh, okay. So we still need to break down a resistance. I thought the will affected the resistance speed. Maybe not. Releasing her will work? Because she's part of our faction. Okay, let's just save first to make sure. Hey, welcome back, Private Paula. Whew. All right, so now whenever three misbehaves, we'll do a similar thing. Is Juna cold? Yep, hypothermia. But that's because you were, you were oot in a boot, probably doing some mining in this. Yeah, we don't really have warm clothes. We don't have parkas because we don't normally need it. But maybe we should keep some parkas around. Because actually, it's not cold enough in the winter for the cold to be a problem. It's only when there's a cold snap. Oh, I'm still forbidden, right, because of the, uh, the mass stripping. Just doing allow all. We'll have to rearm her as well. 
Um, put some clothes on. Um, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> huh. Trip the Lake Lao guy worked. Yeah, it's the Le it's the Lao guy employee education center. That's what we've got going on there. Converter to who else? She's like, no, I have to work, you guys. You don't understand. I have to get to work. I have to get to work right now. It's the most important thing ever. And we're like, dude, chill out. How many toes will she lose to frostbite? <laughs> it's only a finger that's frostbite. That would be funny if she lost more body parts. There you go. Now she's going to equip a duster. There we go. And a helmet. Okay. Yeah. Put some clothes on again. Still fairly chilly in here. These rooms over here don't have any heaters or anything. Um, yeah, I, well, maybe I got some radiators set up. Although the temperature is not very high. Now, what is that? Oh, Inspired Trade, Borbra. Okay. Um, I was going to say something, and I don't remember what now. Oh! Does it matter? Do we need, like, is the fact that this isn't a cold room, is that a problem? It does look like we're having a problem maintaining hot water temperature now. Change food restrictions. Well, you're right. Now, it doesn't matter in a sense, because the only reason Paula hated the meat food is because of her religious beliefs. But, um, this is the lavish, right, as a default? Yeah. But this way, she'll just eat everything. Like, it wouldn't have been a problem anymore, her eating meat. I'm just gonna do this, not add any more tanks for the water, but we'll add some more boilers over here. And maybe I'll add a second uh, solar boiler. Just for these cold snaps. Need to increase the power demand of electric boilers to account for the new items. Wait, what? Oh! Oh! You don't just set a temperature! Huh. Overhead thermostat. Okay, so if this was linked to a thermostat, it would maybe choose whether it's running or not? Oh, it took a little dip. There you go. Five is keeping it full. At least for now. Without any necessarily specific draw. Connected. Okay, the connected demand... Oh, uh, so we need a hundred, eleven hundred U's, and right now we have a capacity of thirteen hundred. There you go, and now it's just too little, which means these tanks are slowly decreasing, and especially at night now, it's probably going to decrease faster. Yeah, we're only at ninety percent. Okay, we're supplying ninety percent of what we need right now. During the day, it's a little closer, and if we get this, now that's probably going to be a decent balance. So we're undersupplying a little bit. During the day, we're almost packed, and if this thing finishes up, then we'll be okay. But right now, we're waiting for the steel, so I guess I will increase the power for now until we get this thing built, and then maybe we can rebalance it. Looks like I was limited to herbal meds. Maybe because of the prisoner thing. Yeah, why are you only on herbal beds? I wonder if that was the... Um, was it part of your belief system, too? Maybe it was just the leftover from prisoner stuff. It also needs, yeah, it needs a lot more power, yes. But this is now hooked up. So we have two geothermals. That's the other thing is I could decide to use a geothermal heat thing instead of a, a power. Because I'm assuming going from power to boilers is not as efficient as going from just pure geothermal stuff in the first place. But this is a little more flexible. And if we can just get the solar panel, that... Theoretically, that's going to help offset some of that, and that's going to be okay. All right, we're going to put a cut in here. Do we have no raw meat anymore? Well, Paula was one of our planters, and I guess she was a little bit... Uh, she was on She was on vacation for a little while. Oh, also, we're cutting down these poplar trees. Hang on. There 
get the growth and the harvesting first before the cut. Yeah. It's because of the extra load of cutting down all these trees. We're keeping some people busy and the fact that Paula wasn't available and she's our primary grower. That's not ideal. We got we gotta put a cut in here in a second, but um, there, we've got some hunting we can do here. Oh, a bunch of alpacas. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna have lots of food coming in very soon. That's gonna be okay. Calling in wealth of 350,000 and an alliance with these guys. Our interest in takeover mining shaft. Oh, they want to take over. If we can increase our total wealth. Oh, that's interesting. Train the Ibexes, the best pen animals? Really? Are they? Hmm. Uh, beer is happening, in theory. Okay, we got to put a cut here. Next live stream is on Monday. We get Kerbal Moon Days. Wednesday is probably more Galactic Civilization. And next Saturday, RimWorld should return. Folks, thanks a lot. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. That was great. Uh, I'm going to go and heat up what's left of my Putsin over here, which is most of it because it's a giant thing of Putsin. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to, we're waiting because for luck, who's probably doing her multiplayer with Among Us and whatnot. And um, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to finish recording my Civ 6 so that I can start recording some Civ 4 because I'm really excited about that. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.